Oi, oi, Flat Earth British, uh, Martin Lietke speaking. Welcome back to the Great Flat Earth British Think Tank's traditional Flat Day show. Good to see you guys. I'm just check my audio is in uh, tact. Double flat thumbs to infinity fry skies, which is a mighty long time. Okay. Looks like I'm doing fine on the audio. Good to see you guys. It's good to be back. Flip side of Torridge and convention or conference age and everything else age that has been going on in the life age of Martin. Martin. <laughs> you thought I was going to say age, didn't you? Nope. Tricked you. So, uh, yeah, we're going to have a fantastic roller coaster ride of information. Okay. If you're used to the flat of British think tank, you're going to know. That is going to be, if I say it's going to be juicy, then it's going to be juicy. Um, why hasn't Martin jumped onto Rockfin? Don't they ask for money, Gnosis? Not really fucking digging all of that. Can't bother doing it anyway. So we strive on on YouTube and fuck them is what we do. <laughs> okay. Uh, with epic amounts of, I was dropped on my head as a baby. And since then, I've had like severe, like, not give a fuckness. Now, you see the title of my vlog, Skeleton Keys. I think we found a skeleton key. We're going to look into it in this post. And the Hanky Wankies. Now, if you keep an eye on my community post, you can see that I've posted skeletons covered in jewels, which we're going to look at in a minute. Now, these are sent in by fanboys and girls from catacombs all over Europe. Okay, medieval catacombs all over Europe. Um, he's been, since he's basically given up uh, terrorist organisations, he's tried them all, the Tamil Tigers, the Bad of Meinhof. Uh, he had to go with the IRA for a while. He's, you know, he's tried them all. Okay, so it's Hank. Since he's had that, um, to be honest, to be honest, for a dead guy, he fucking, he's really kicking ass. Now, he's only been like this since his third jab. And his third booster. His third booster. I mean, he's not been so bad. He's been suffering with um, chronic CMS, okay, which all J Habers get, chronic masturbation syndrome, which is really horrendous if you've got to live with him. But now, now he's got a newfound cult status, okay? He's got his own cult going on. And they're called the Hanky Wankies. Okay. And he's really happy about it. In fact, I've never seen Hank so happy. Oh, plasma spike under the table is the safest thing to do. Put the tea towels over your head. Yeah. Did you? Did I tell you to bring a tea towel? Dishcloth. Don't listen. You'll get a protein spike. See what happens. Hmm? Snakes at it. <laughs> So poor Hank, poor Hank. I, I actually feel sorry for him. You know, there's millions and millions of J-Habbers out there, I understand, suffering with CMS at the moment. Yeah, stuck on wanking themselves to death. <laughs> what? What? So we're going to have some fun, okay, in this post. As you can see, we're going to have some fun. It's a really cool day today. This is the day ooh, after, the day after, the release of the new documentary movie type affair uh, by Hibala Productions, the next level, 2022, or so they say. And I got to preview it last night. It's out on Vimto. Vimto, I think that's a drink. That that thing anyway. <laughs> Don't pretend I know. It's out anyway. It's linked down below in the description box. You can go and watch this for yourself. It's out on YouTube in a couple of weeks. Okay. It's fucking fab, okay? It's going to flat smack a shitload of people. They're going to be like, uh-oh, what, what, what's going on with my poor little Brian? What did, he, what did he just say? Is that true? Is that true? I better go off and Google this. Instead of repeating other people's shit is what they usually do. I watched an horrendous post this morning. Oh, God, it was an embarrassment to humanity. I really did feel sorry for one of our Flat Earth brothers, YC David, was on an interview with... Um, this British guy, I'm bound to run into him. This is definitely Sod's Law. Sean Atwood. What a fucking suck all you are. Oh, I should be funny, Dave. Oh, fuck you. 
Yeah, you little fucking YouTube scoping boy. For a reason, eh? Not, 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 not. Wink, wink. I don't know you got a fucking brains to be anything else than the repeater that you are. And all of them repeaters, they keep repeating um, other people's bullshit. Yeah, they've had a lot of time to think about this bullshit that other people repeat. It's like, where is your independent thought? Let's think about what we're trying to explain to you, your automatic experience in perception in this place. Are you, no, are you ever, ever going to see a globe before you die? Hmm? No, 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 not one of you. Nobody will either, ever. It doesn't exist. So there's a new movie out. We're going to look at a little look at that a snippet of it, an advert. Um, you can watch it yourself. I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, I never fucked it up, and I looked pretty slick, so it was all right. <laughs> I was happy anyway. Um, and there was a really cool, cool lady in there from Britain. Uh, Rachel, she was fucking phenomenal in there. They were all really, really good. It was very impressive. What do you mean, no Martin Logan's run? Hmm? That sounds like a negative connotation word, no? Yeah, I'm trying to... Something I need to master. But this yes word, if it feels vibrationally more comfortable than no. Yeah, no. Yep, no, yep. Yep, it's definitely better. Try it. <laughs> it's not a good theology to go by. Only on the TV. Oh, yeah, look. Oh, yeah, it's only on the TV, obviously. Little Wing! I'm going to show a picture of you. We, I met Little Wing last week. I met loads of people last week. Little Wing, she was absolutely fa fantastic, as I knew she would be. Okay, a little ray of sunshine in this miserable, grumpy fucking place we find ourselves in. <laughs> the capital of grumpiness, however, is Birmingham. <laughs> That's not, it's not. They were fun people. We had a fantastic time. And they do love the Welsh, which is a good thing. Okay, because not everyone does like the Welsh or me. <laughs> Michael Stones, good to see you. Let's welcome a few of you in. 300 of you, just shit out of nowhere. Well, you're going to have a little treat. We're going to have a little laugh along the way a little bit later. Okay. It's not going to be too dirty or anything like that because I just don't do that shit yet. Okay. It's going to be knowledgeable. Okay. I'm going to finger your brightness <laughs> in the nicest possible way. First, we're going to get that nice little warm, fuzzy feeling going. You get in your belly. Yeah, the one when you just get like that compulsive feeling, like I want to have a lay down or do some ironing. Yeah, stroke my pussy cat. <laughs> that sort of thing. Living us out to see you. Good to see you. Talk radio. Oi, oi, from Finland. Oh, we love Finland. That's, that's Estonian people. I'm Estonian, yeah. We fought together in the big whatever happened in the past war shit that went down, yeah. I was on your side, mate. Or my father was. Um, and Andrea, I got a photograph of you coming up. If you want to see what Andrea uh 73 actually looks like, yeah. Stick around, guys. We're worth, worth waiting for. In fact, watch this whole vlog, okay? You excited? Be excited! I'm in an epic, fantastic film. It's fucking brilliant. I got, I went through like an epic tour, and well, most of it, as you know, um, and then died, came back, and then did a convention, which was a conference, which is like a convention. I don't know. Um, I saw you to tell a tale. Oh, don't all cheer at once. Fuck me. <sighs> Capalocious. Good to see you, my friend. That's for Dania. Vindobere. Vinkria. Yeah, I speak 12 languages fluently. Did you know that? Yeah, fuck yeah. Come with my spy training. Yeah. I can make like a revolver out of a, a light. Uh, a pen. <laughs> All right, I'm sharing that. Jolly man, good to see you. Hippie Shake. Um, if um, you go down below in the description box, you can find. My friend, Teresa, with Sippy Shake, 29 was right there. I think I've got 28. Maybe no, I did put 29. In the description box below this video, you can watch increment little videos, about six minutes, three minutes, two minutes each, of the convention. She did go to the effort to catch up some um, footage, which is more than I managed to do again. But I did ask two separate people, but neither of them came through. So. Get what fucking dice are rolled to you. You know, whatever, Marwin, good to see you, Marwin Braun. So that's brown, isn't it, in German? Marwin Brown. 
every day is flat a day. You 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 got a big bag of weed, don't you? So <laughs> psychological profile. It's happy. Got a big bag of weed. <laughs> How the fuck do you know this, Steph man? I don't know. It's a natural talent. I sniff it out. <laughs> Uh, uh, Tim Dix. Ah, uh, Tim. I hope you got your book. I hope you got your book. Tim uh, missed out on meeting me. You know, I didn't have much time to catch up with me at a convention. Missed his key ring and all that. So sent him a book uh, to say thank you for being so cool. So hope you got that. Sign book, Gage. It's giftage. Um, Rizzy Truth. Good to see you. Um, it would be an honour to meet you. Well. Friends are conspiring. If I could get away with it, I'm going to come to Flat Flattoberfest in South Carolina land. I've got somewhere to stay the whole time anyway. Down by the river and fucking wicked place. Yeah. So I'll be staying there. I'm going to Spartanburg. Yeah. I'm meeting up with my bro skis and sister skis. Yeah. In America land, which I, which I fantasize about, by the way. Yeah. I love these people. I've known them more. They're like the same as the you all us British troopers, but like far away. So it sucks really. Um the thumbnail of photo is Hank's rich brother. <laughs> no man. Missy, that's Hank's new BFF. Yeah. I'm not sure what's going on. It's difficult to determine whether there's something like homosexual going on or not. You can't really tell when they're scanning since who's <laughs> They all look happy enough. Let's let them get on with it. There's no harm being done. And let's, let's be honest, no one's going to die. <laughs> They're dead already. Say it. Miles, um, edge, edge flawed. Oh, you from the fjords of Norway. Oh, lucky fucking you. How beautiful is that? Imagine the view from his window when you're looking at a block of stinking fucking flats in your whatever city. Hmm? I know, and he's looking at fucking fjordage. Well, not gel. We love you for it. Ugh. Send us your eyes, what you see. Not literally, because that would be weird. <laughs> uh, Bandana. Love you, Bandana. You're a lovely, lovely lady. Ugh. And Psycho Dave. How are you doing, my brother, Psycho Dave? Yeah, it's a special big, massive love, flat thumbs from my brother, Germany land. Probably. Doesn't even matter. Europe. <laughs> Uh, it doesn't matter anyway. Uh, Scott Pack, good to see you. Yes, double fuck them with toast on. That's right. And this is their loss. And there's, oh, uh, Scott Pack. Wise words, wise words. We all pray for wisdom, don't we? Knowledge. And to learn by our mistakes, don't we? Go forward, don't we? Don't we? Do the right things. I know, I know you're all nodding in your chairs right now. I said, Martin, Martin, I'm really resonating with him right now. He's killing it, isn't he? It's like, he's such touching my soul, yeah. And he's like fingering my brain and touching my soul. <laughs> Steffi <Stephanie> Campbell. <laughs> it will be okay. Calm down, calm down. God, fucking hell. Hell ain't a bad place to be. Okay. Listen. This uh, this bad demon, good demon bullshit going down. I don't even believe any of it. I think it's all wank by them. I'm just not feeling it anymore. I'm thinking that uh, the nasty ass demons thing. So fuck with your psyche. I think they're manageable. Maybe Martin Haley. Let's tend to fuck off. Recognizing his nine tenths of the battle anyway. Alpha Billy chasing demons away in the morning. They won't come back. Matthew Titus. Is that like Titus? That's just what my brain interpreted it as. And <laughs> I love that film, Logan's Run. He said, everyone dies. Except for the old man, Peter Ustinov. He's Estonian. Did you know that? No, we do know. And he had wrinkles right there. And they were touching him saying, well, what happened to you? Because he was old. And he was in the Library of Congress, by the way, looking after the books. Vice chap indeed, vice chap indeed. Uh, Red Zeppelin. Okay, roll up. We've got 400 people. Shit out of nowhere. What are you doing with your flat a day night then? You having a good time? You will be having a good time. We're going to think about skeletons, then bones, then bones, then dry bones. Okay, no, we have thought about skeletons because why waste a good dead oak? Okay. <laughs> what I'm thinking is the church definitely have a stiffy for fucking death and the whole death cult thing that they got running on in this Phoenician paradigm is like sort of revolves around you being scared of death and driven by that. But 
from my experience and understanding of consciousness, I don't think that's a fucking thing, you know, what they're pushing um, or the agendas which they introduce because they know that we manifest our reality. And if they get us thinking about weird, nutty shit that you get off the internet, say, for example, mm, and then that's all semi manifests in a way. They know that because this is the way that they run reality. They manifest reality. They use us to manifest it for them all negative intent, all fear, all death at the end related. Does this make any sense? So I think it's bullshit. And the fact that they didn't actually get dead bodies into these churches at all um, until like late on in the 18th, uh, 19th century, really, before then, um, where were they? We don't know because they're not in church fucking yards because no one's in fucking church yards until the 1800s where they're all the dead. What are they doing with them all? Saintages, or if you're important, you're going to get put in a stone casket. You're going to be put under the spire or the dome or near the altar in a churchage, which is a resonating device, as we have established on Flat Earth British Antiqu Antiquotech. So we're going to think about that. And I'm going to show some cool pics of odd history because history is history is weird as fuck yo no i mean it's proper fucking nutty like you know fucking you think this place is a madhouse 100 years ago 200 doesn't even matter it was always fucking nuts in yeah okay thank god for you little rays of sunshine eh feel happy about things now yeah no you could wake up in the morning gaffer taped to your see then looking at your bed did that happen this morning well you should count your non be lessons shouldn't you so uh kathia kim ray good to see you and um, first time uh um cool jen is my sis jen is fucking awesome she absolutely smashed it at the convention even had my schoolmate gumbo if you know what's happening gum simon my brother best friend from school right the way through he commented in my youtube which was really nice by the way um the alabama jen she was really cool, which she is. She's a cool chick. And very, very clever. So, yeah, she had me buzzing my ass off during the convention. Really did love her. You know, the fact that she was bringing that vibration. Wisdom. Motherly feminine wisdom, which is what's needed a lot of in this place. Um, you did a great job. Oh, thanks, Manny. I did try my best. My vibration might have been a bit off, but I had been awake for, I don't know, fucking ever. And um was like, Zzz. but, you know. And long, long days, long days when you start really, really early and finish really, really late. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking grueling. Oh, that Jen, Jen Montgomery. Oh, I love you too, Jen. Okay. I thought he was on about another Jen. Don't worry. Just go with Martin's Brian. It doesn't matter. So, Gavstar, good to see you. Let me have a drink. Let me orientate my shit. Oh, that's nice, you, Brennan. Bubble Tree Tunerage. To infinity fries. That's something that's never been said before in the history of reality. Soak that in for a moment. Bumblebee tuna to infinity fries. It's never been said before in the whole of reality. I just smashed a paradigm. Did you feel I shift? Why did he say that? That can't be undone. Fuck him. Fuck him. Don't want to undo it. Smash his fucking thing. We got it. We're on it. So, yeah, let's be careful with manifesting. That's for sure. They got us, everyone, like, in this nasty fucking place of manifesting fear and just, like, all of these demonic entities they show you in, like, Renaissance paintings, etc. You know, these are elements of, like, the psyche that they are giving people through all of this shit on the internet and all of it, the way everyone's wired. It's just, it's really gone really, really weird. It's gone really weird since uh, all that bullshit went down. It's like... Um, I don't know, like, if it's like I'm saying, you know, with Hank and his chronic CMS, yeah, it's chronic, like, masturbation syndrome, yeah. Um, it's something like that's happened to him all with the J-Hab. I don't know, but, like, things are gone a bit weird, I've noticed. And they want, they're manifesting beasts. We, they can't do it. they got no power in this place. Remember, we do it for them. Remember that, okay? We are the manifestors. This has always been ours. And the power is with the people. Always has been, and uh, not that I'm like a purveyor anymore of probably child killing John Lennon. I uh, can't establish that, but he was like one of the John Lennons did that anyway, probably. Um, was one of the family, definitely. Um, he said that, didn't he? And but he did say give peas a chance as well, 
You have to be more specific than that. Garden variety, fucking jolly green giant. <laughs> Can't just be chucking it out there. You've got to be specific in this place. Honeymoon. I got really confused later on in life. Stephanie. A scatterbrain. I'm a bit like that. But then it all comes back into zenith moments. Just spill all of you. It's really good. Woody Black. Good to see you. Okay, now I think we're going to get on. Now, I just like high pitched sounds in my ear. That was universe telling me to sort of brighten up man. Frank. Oh. Yes, no watery. I am jolly. Ooh, that's nice. That's nice. We feel jolly because you are jolly. Are you laughing? Oh, we'll laugh with you if you laugh. That'd be really lovely. We'd have a big communal laugh. Um, don't can't stop the music. Um, I hope that's music in the background, not flooding out flat earth Britishness. We've got some flat earth British fans coming up in a minute. It's more of a rich. Okay, we're gonna hook up with Rich soon. I was on a hangout last night, it didn't go bed till three o'clock, but it was a fabulous hangout. Um, it was really, really good. With on I am Realm Media with my bros on Iron Realm Media and Sissies, Cami, Cami H. Um, but I had a good talk with Bob, uh, Bob Nodell, you know, holder of the Nodell Peace Prize, uh, for, for a good hour or two, and it was fab. Um, I'll link that up below in the description box, but it is in my community page. I linked it up last night if you wanted to catch that show. I know a few of you were there in chat. Ah, T, good to see you, lovely. Um, are you on about glue? Are you on about horses? Don't be getting me upset and shit before I fucking start a vlog. Thinking about glue. See how nuts this place is. Yeah. Happy birthday to who? Whose birthday is it? Hi, Alex. Oh, you so your your son's really clever. He has good eyeballs for fucking history stuff and suspiciousness going on. Brasse, good to see you. Michelle, good to see you. Sorry, I oh, Michelle Cove. Sorry about that. Flat Earth millionaires in the house, is he? Good to see you, my friend Itch. It's on Rockfin, is there? So it's on Rockfin as well. But it is linked below in the description box. I'll link it up in this. It's a link to pinned into this chat now. You can go and check it out on whatever format Vimto. <laughs> uh, it's a new fresh sun because it is a new sun every fucking day. It's a new brand new day. And that's the beauty of this place and manifestation. Why do you think you go to sleep? Why the need to shut down your batteries and just shut, shut it down? Hmm? Otherwise you can't cope in this place. Why is that? Everybody. And how much of your life do you sleep? Hmm? I know, I know, I know. They used to, in the Middle Ages, have two sleeps, apparently, called Big Sleep and Little Sleep in the Middle Ages. Apparently, you went to bed around nine, then you woke up about two, done family stuff, a bit of cleaning, a bit of cooking, get back into bed about seven o'clock, and then wake up to do the chickens or something. So they had they broke sleep into two. You didn't have one full night's sleep. This is to do with the clock and going to work and slaving your ass. That's new. I don't think, they, I don't think it's always been like, go to bed and then wake up in the morning. I'm not thinking that's the case at all. I'm just saying, where do they, where's the rule book? It says, you must eat all these fruit and veg every fucking day and go sleep eight hours or you'll be to shit. Because I don't think that works for that Chinese man who's never seen any of these fucking things. And he's got a basket on his shoulder and he's going up down the paddy fields at 138 years of age. They don't even know they forgot in World War II. That guy. Huh? Just saying. Anyway. Um, I sleep twice a day. I've never napped. I can't nap. I'm not a napper. Uh, if I napped, I'd be fucked. I wouldn't be able to go to sleep in the night. I'd be like, oh, I shouldn't have had that nap. It's my own, own fault. Warty, warty. Avi, help me see the hoaxes. Me too. Me too. Old Russian vidic. Uh Cheech. That's you, my friend. Uh, you just ate the most acid I have seen anyone in my whole life. Double bubble. That's full seat checking, man. I just fucking spent a night in a fucking ditch, man. So I do him good. You're fucking right. It's the best film ever made. Yeah. Right. Let's get on with the juice each. Now I'm going to share, um, as I said, I'm in a movie documentary called The Next Level, which is a fucking next level stuff um, concerning the flat earth. Now I know a lot of you people that come to my channel, like global people. I've got, I don't even give a shit. Okay. 
you can be whatever you want. It's not my life. Okay, you just come to learn, have a good time, and let Martin entertain you along the way. And look at the crazy shit that come out of history. Does that make perfect sense? Okay, okay. But this film is a big flat smack. And if you do watch it and you've been scratching your heads, or basically, you've got to ask yourself why you feel, feel this like response, or like your heart starts beating fast, or maybe anger when somebody says the earth is flat to you. Now, you've got to ask yourself, why is that? That's a control mechanism kicking in. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of people defend a model they don't even know anything about. You can't pull any fucking flat earth on any of this fucking shit. I mean any of this shit, guys. No matter how deep you fucking go. Outside of pulling up some fucking calculus. But we got a few people to do that too. So, they bring nothing to the table. Seven fucking years of this. Just repeating... The same old shit. Well, the Greeks knew. No, they fucking never. There they go again. They don't even look into it when they say that shit. And then, like, that means anything in this fucking reality. Who the fucking Greeks? Fucking Greeks. Who gives a shit? It makes no difference to this reality. Anyway, 500 of you, please, one of you, if not all of you, share this out, would you, please? I would be eternally grateful because... I'm not really in the YouTube fan club, not that I bother caring anymore, because I ain't in it. And I'm not, like, doing YouTube rulage. Oh, here he is. No, there you are. Let's thank this man himself. The great honour to work for this man and do this beautiful video. And the beauty of it is, right, is I, I look all right, yeah, and I never fucked it up. <laughs> Which I was really happy about. We're watching. I was like, "Oh God, I don't fuck this up." No, it's good. So thanks. Yeah, I was really cut, cut well. Everything about it. Yeah, it was like twice. I was close to tears. Uh, I'm not going to spoil alert for him, but twice in the movie, I was close to tears. I had a couple of shivers of realization as well, because like watching the film was an awakening for myself as well, Sean. Because sometimes when you watch it back. It's like an existential view of, of what's going on. And it's like, yeah, 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 fuck me, yeah. So um, for that token, it was like, it was fucking brilliant. So I'm going to share a bit of you uh, with that, you know, and then we're going to get on with the juicage, okay? We're going to think, then bones, then bones, then dry bones. Or the anchor bones connected to the knee bone. <laughs> no, I don't think that's right. <laughs> you would look fucking weird if that was the case. Let's be honest. Okay, like I said, please share this up. Okay, so there is the epicness that is Hitler Productions. No, don't get no better than that on the fucking internet. Oh, excuse me. Uh, it don't get better than that on the internet, so that's for sure. And there it is. It was out yesterday. I got to watch it last night. I was very lucky um, before I was on that show last night. And... Um, this lady here, uh, she's British and I never knew. Victoria Rachel, I'm sure I've seen her somewhere. She's fantastic in it. Honest to God, I just thought the way she, she'll speak from like, you know, people who can relate to like just normal fucking people, mothers, you know, just people, people, guys. And um, hopefully that was the case there. And everyone just done a fucking brilliant job. You've got Brain Box Santos, everybody seen it. Bit. We'll have a little sh look, uh, sneak preview at the advert that went out for it, and then we're going to go on with the juicage. Okay. okay. Close your eyes and just. Am I moving? Am I spinning? It's that easy. We're not. The Earth is stationary, and that is scientific. Not pseudoscience. The Earth is spinning at 1,040 miles an hour. You can't feel it. You can't measure it. You can't observe it. You can't repeat it. But trust us, trust us. People are just deceived. I mean, I grew up from kindergarten. I heard it was a globe. They gave them a globe at graduation to take home like an inflatable baseball. So why are they teaching the globe model? Well, the globe is a container, and it's a container of all the known land. If there's more land, in the late 1800s, they were talking about more land beyond Antarctica. The North Pole is a biggie. Very glamorous destination. What if we all took our compasses out and just followed them until it stops? Oh, it is that far. Oh my God. Oh my God. 
wake up. What wake if up. we can tr truly become free? needed a new model because they wanted a new world order. Open your eyes. Open your eyes. The physics of water is to find and maintain level. This is the year of flat earth. The next level. The heliocentric theory is bullshit. Get ready for the next level. The next level. The truth cannot be stopped. Well, that's not a fuck ton of fantastic. So, yeah, out on the 5th of May, it says there for YouTube, yeah. Um, I'm guessing I'll upload it on my main channel. And that was absolutely epic. Yeah, man. Tingles, tingles, Sean, tingles. Yeah, man. Um, I feel um, another wave of awakening coming on very, very soon as a result of this film. Okay. And you find the link below in the description box and pinned as well if you want to watch the next level tonight. If you're not doing anything, it's on uh, Vimeo. Vimto, the fuck, <laughs> and it's also as you've seen on Rockfin as well. You can get over, and that was you can see on that link that I just showed. So, coolness, extraordinary. I was fucking brilliant last night watching that. <laughs> right on with the juicage, bones, then bones, then dry bones. Now, <laughs> excuse me. Some time ago, on my Celtic Tatarian channel, so it must have been a few years ago, actually. Uh, we talked about human bone batteries, human bone batteries, okay? <laughs> Excuse me, juggling with the idea of catacombs, like in this example, the Paris catacombs with 8 million bodies, whatever, in massive, massive catacombs underneath Notre, uh, Notre Dame Cathedral and throughout the Citadel and throughout Paris, okay? that they were um, compressed and put in a specific way that if they put weight on top of one another, they would release piezoelectric forces, which states on Google that bones will release if pressed. And then we found like that there was wires connected, you know, for whatever practical use they were thinking. It's not keeping them apart or anything. And then you got these skeletons on the bottom of all of these bones so we thought all right then um you know think of a bone as sealed each each end okay okay and inside you got the marrow i'll see you tomorrow and it's like a battery in itself it's like a little cell and they do when compressed release electrical forces now when we're alive we're batteries okay when we're in them buildings we're releasing um in offices say or when you're in work or in your office at home at your peak of the day, 2,000 volts of electricity. You know, they're not going to waste that. And I think probably the electric in your house is biodirectional. They probably use our electric to keep this, this simulation, if you like, going. Um, just like the Matrix says, batteries. So are they doing it when we're alive? And are they doing it when we're gone? Now, why? Is this whole place geared to getting us under the ground, six foot under? Is it all about in the alchemical understanding and the more taste understanding of a certain era about death or the dance of death? Now, you may not be aware, I wasn't aware till recently, that human bones are quite musical. In fact, human bones, okay, can be played and give off a really nice tune. And I'll show you some examples of uh, some catacombs. While this music that has been played on Dig, Human Bones, and see what it sounds like, okay? It's strange, I know. Don't worry. It's not a fish. Everything's new. Everything's new. Okay. Let's go by. Thank <laughs> you. 
So tell me that is not high levels of weirdness that you can play actual music, meaning human bones give off a musical tone, which means they vibrate, which means they resonate. Now, isn't that interesting, guys, to think that they bring these skeletons of maybe dignitaries of their players into these specific buildings, which happen to be resonators or, excuse me, um, a device, um, a, an antiquitech device, which is using vibrational qualities, is it not conceivable that they got some sort of technology going on, including these bones, where maybe if the organ was playing and it went through these bones, it give off a specific key, like the skeleton key, the key that opens all the locks. You've all seen the Matrix. Yeah, they got a, a lock maker there, haven't they? A key maker there. Yeah. Now, remember the Phoenician paradigm as well. So keys, like a shipping key, where you dock a ship, and locks. You have locks all the way along canals, and nothing is without accident. It's no poinky dink. So it gives off a tone. Uh, maybe this is the secret of the skull and crossbones, that if you bang these two together, it's going to give off a tone, and maybe that tone is the key to unlocking the whole thing. Now, I don't know whether you know, um, like I mentioned earlier, if you missed the start of the show, Hank, my brother, has got a new cult going. It's like massive, massive following. It's getting bigger by the day. It's going to be bigger than, you know, some of the biggest cults ever known, like the um, Sabbateans. It's bigger than them, right? Uh, cult Skellies. People complain about the way I pronounce Skellington. I pronounce it my way. So he's giving you the finger and he's going, fuck you. <laughs> no, it might not be. So why are they always pointing up? What are they pointing up? At? Are they, maybe they're saying, we're going up, yo. Ready for the big drop? Yeah, that's going to be funny. Mm. No, didn't think about that. Anyway, he's got um, a bit of a glow going on because he's lit up. Well, he was when he was alive. And found the frequency. Um, and think about the skeleton. So I've been examining some old books of anatomy. And um, you're thinking about on Flat Earth British, was it a case, you know, that everyone was always covered in, like, skin and muscle like they are now? Think of the stages of um, growth on the film Hellraiser. The guy's got like just skeleton and his bit of muscle and his skin. Um, or like you see on the Black Pearl on uh, Pirates of the Caribbean films, you see these fishy guys, which are half men and half sort of skeleton. And you see this all over Phoenician architecture, these half formed men, like just coming up out of the water, half skeleton. And I'm getting this thing, sort of getting like this feeling now. This is something to do with the informational process of how we people or how people came to be. The information surely in the water anyway for all of it. It is for the seed. Why wouldn't it be for the humans? So anyway, so they got this thing going on in apart from crazy, crazy catacombs, as you just seen, this weird death cult thing going on with the church. They are as mental as Fuck yo. Um, they do this, like in, say, a little chapel in Mexico or Brazil or Spain, or not necessarily Spanish people will, but um, all over the place, Germany too, where if you've got a little chapel, stick 10,000 bodies underneath, I shit you not, and more, um, and um, really freaky um, these. But they, like I said, these are just all join the hanky wankies, and I'll show you Frank's new beat, uh, excuse me, Hank's. New BFF, it's got a new BFF. Um, we're not sure if she's a she or a he. It seems really nice. I'll show you a bit of a look at. So, is it technology going on now? Ashes to ashes, funk to funky. We know Major Tom's a junkie. Okay, so is um, that clue <laughs> in the song? Why are they covering Skellingtons in oogles of what look like not even semi precious jewels? They look like these are the juicage. Um, but yeah, reliquary. This is probably saint's ashes. Yeah, yeah, big bones. Very funny, Ashley. <laughs> um, look, heart of gold. This one, I'll tear your heart out. It's got a key and a lock. Isn't that a coincidence? Heart beats and it gives off a pound like a sound, which you can hear. You can hear your heartbeat. 
And that would be a resonance that would interact with, like, you know, the geometry of the ether, etc. And the moment your heart beat, which is a, a sound, stops, the whole of your reality stops because you're dead. Or are you? That's just the name they give it. Remember, every, they've been lying about all guys. So I think they might be rubbing our faces in it with this sort of caper. And it's like the Phoenician raw relief. And look at these jewels. And why net the face up and trying to make them look nice and comfy? Is your jaw all right? Well, we don't want you coming round and having an achy jaw now, do we? Look. This one's like, like, admittedly, this beginning of this video is slightly macabre. Slightly. Okay, but don't worry, because we're going to balance all that up with like funny stuff a bit later. So it doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, she had a lovely hair. Do I think this is... Um, I think Hank said he fancied her. He said, yeah, she was a bit of a looker. She looks a bit cracked. <laughs> uh, I was, yeah, it's totally, totally fucking nuts. So I just can't get around any of this. Look, look, this is the world we live in, okay, guys? Where they, what, this is what they do to, you know. So uh, did you, like, um, sign that wafer so they don't carnage your organs on your death? Yeah? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just take lo smoke loads of weed and then event, you know, if any if they take an organ, anybody that has it will or nix it from you. You know, like organ fucking donors without asking. They'll be really, really stoned. Probably OD and die. Be great. So look at this. Yeah. Do you like my teeth necklace thing going on? Yeah. Check it out already. So, yeah, these eye socket things, yeah, these holes, they're a mandala effect. I don't think that was always the case. I think there wasn't, like, all this bone going on, but it was just big holes, like, with a socket, like this one, a bit. I think this is, like, old world people, maybe. So, yeah, anyway, back to jewels. So, you have jewels in a watch, don't you, as part of his mechanism, and you have jewels or a grain of sand or what have you in your silicone chippage, which is sort of crystal. Uh, so, stones have could hold memory they definitely have um you know sort of resonance purposes as you know each one resonates differently like you know sort of amethyst differently to um blue emeralds for example and it all fits each person individually and if you went to your organite pyramids and stuff um this is a form of organite and i think they knew about this science i think this was going on with moses and his Wicked, wicked. Tiffany. Yeah, it looks very Tiffany, John. Uh, Moses, Moses is a um, vesty thing when you've got a load of push button jewels going on. Yeah, check this guy. Check this guy. He's a martyr from J690. Right, fuck me. Look at his feet. Where does he buy his shoes? Big foot fuckers are us. Whoa. What's the matter with your face? All right, it might be a beard and just really, really bad sort of. I don't know. I shouldn't be slagging him off, really. It might be really important saintages and shit. But look, what's with the Phoenician things? Like laying out like a Roman on a chair. Ready for. I know no more wine for me. I think I've had enough. <laughs> you say, <laughs> I mean, I've had enough wine. No fucking shit you have. And again, they always have this like sort of fern leaf don't they on these phoenician uh statues and artworks and dead works if that's what they're called dead with tech <laughs> mm, let's think huh that's how liverachi ended up on a piano <laughs> scanning <to. laughs> always all right nobody died yes somebody did one way on about so look at the effort i guess in that's gold with little things in it stones and check all the rings and of course no one's gonna ever that's like golden fleece there so nobody's gonna ever rip these off if they were in like say in serbia or somewhere else they're not gonna rip these churches off because like would you rip that off <laughs> it's like you're going home and like you know doors start flying open shit starts flying at you and it's like oh fuck that's the curse of that fucker looking at me you're never going to get that out of your head now, are you? Look away. Look away. Look away from that freaky head. What about that one? 
That looks like sort of Star Wars, don't it? At Star Wars Cafe. <laughs> playing them little sexy saxophones that they play in it. Well, that's what it reminds me of. I'm probably tripping. So all that jewelage going on. Yeah. Somebody you have to think all that shit out before he died. He must have started his plans at 30, died at 90. When are you going to die? When my jewel gone is ready for my death. Oh, that makes perfect sense. How many jewels are you going to get? 50,000. Oh, I see what you're doing there. You're extending time. You can't have it. You can't die until it's ready. I think that's what's going on. Like this fucker. He was a smart one, yeah? So I'll have 20,000 jewels. Bought himself 130 years. I ended up with square eyes and looked like a fucking robot. That's curly hair, though. Some of them, they end up in fairgrounds in, say, Connecticut. And they say, give us some money and I'll tell you your fortune. Yeah. And you feel so compelled to do that. You're going to actually have to do it. And you're going to believe anything that fucker tells you. Because you manifest your own reality. So obviously, you're going to, if it says, um, you know, you're going to be hit by a station, hit by a station wagon. And you walk outside, you know, I'm fucking going to be a station wagon. <laughs> and you get it nearly run over by a motorbike. It's like, that's your fault. Shouldn't have fucking given me money. And you should have just fought that temptation. Now, see what I mean? He's got his hand there and he's like, beat me up, Scott. He pressed that button. <laughs> see? Portal tech. He's, gonna, he's pressing his button. It's always covering the solar plexus. Plexi science. Oh, that one's. That's. Um, no, no, I thought that was Hank's uh, BFF. I even I was like, literally, the other night I came in, guys, and he was holding a photograph of her on his mobile phone. I'm not sure what was going on. I don't want to think about it, really, now. Anyway. So, poor Hank. Shouldn't have had them jabs. Jabs. He was much more fun when he was... Uh, no, it was, actually, since he's dead, he's never been so much fun. Look at this. Yeah, Roman... He's like, oh, what the fuck? Only died. Yeah, they're going to fucking stick on a leaf on me, sparkle me up with a fuck ton of gold, stick a bay leaf in my hand, as you do. Yeah. It's gross. Demi in. Yeah, I know. To the extreme. To the extreme. Um, but like I said, we've partly formed humans. So like, it's like, what is the skeleton anyway? It's an ex. It's not an exoskeleton, it's an inner skeleton, but it's like a, a frame or a, like a. Think of us as machines. Or like robots, yeah. Robots got like frames, like skeletons. Just because we're organic doesn't mean to say we're not like a robot per se, as such, does it? Although we do have souls. Well, we told ourselves we have souls. Tron, in Tron, does the Tron people have souls? But they think they have souls until they find out they're in a game and they're like, well, I'm just an NPC. I'm not got a soul. And they get really upset. It sort of like sort of points towards well, you got solo then, you know. If you not watch the Wizard of Oz, yeah, how do I find courage? I'll give you a medal, and then all of a sudden he's fucking Audie Murphy. That's how reality works. He manifested that shit. So I obviously don't know what going going on here. It looks a bit macabre to say the least. <laughs> I'm not sure if she was actually alive when she got you. It seems a little bit of a time ago. Um, she seems to turn into marble. Marble. Yeah, they covered her head because something was happening. It's like, cover your head, get a tea towel, put it over your head. There, there, that's um, Hank's new BFF. Yeah, they talk every night. This fucker, yeah, yeah, don't think because he's dead, yeah, he's quiet, doesn't shut the fuck up. He's moaning all day about the other skeletons that he sat around. Oh, all day, oh, she does, he's go on. He doesn't sound like that. He's not gay, obviously. We're trying to establish he was made off female. Anyway, don't worry about all that. Just obviously but making all that. Now, this one, Hank was showing me a photograph and saying, what you reckon, Matt? In, like, Hank talks to me in our minds because, well, it has a common mouth. Being a skeleton, <laughs> that'd be pretty stupid. Um, this one has a mouth and a really good set of teeth. Yeah. And actual eyes as well. No, no, they're the real ones from when he was alive, alive, though. Okay. All them jewels are like keeping him in like Lennon stasis, if that's the word. One day with them golden curls, which look like copper wire, there will be a bolt of lightning and then they will all spring up, all happy chappies, talking stuff that we haven't got a clue what they're saying, probably being really fucking annoying. 
But given two weeks in our wilderness, they will soon be addicted to Burger King and these other things which they have found, television. Yeah. Given two weeks, they will be doomed in our in our paradigm. Wankness. Some of them might be immune. I fucking doubt it. Felt for it for the first time. Look where they ended up. It's not a good advert, is it? <laughs> oh, come on. It could be worse. You could be eaten by worms. Or would you be rather, you know, a, a Phoenician with your laurel leaf and a net over your face hundreds of years after your death with a pair of ice pudding? <laughs> what if the consciousness was still there looking at you while you were looking at it? Yeah. And then you get home, then you have like dreams of these things, yeah, looking at you. Oh, I wish I hadn't gone there. You shouldn't have gone there. I told you that one's old in a leaf, it's made of jewels. I wonder what it all means. Yeah, I got a feeling this one looked fucked in life. <laughs> uh, so maybe I shouldn't have said that. Maybe she's a really important saintage. I mean, maybe she had poor, poorly health anyway. Why not? This one, a tough missing. You got to hit out. You got to fight with one of the other skeletons. You've all seen Jason in the Argonauts. You know this shit goes down. He's got a leaf too. And a fuck ton of jewels. Another clever fucker. How many, jewel, how many years did you buy me your jewels? Get my jewel coat ready. How many? 20,000 jewels. Should take one a year. <laughs> Fucking clever. Another Phoenician though. Don't tell me this isn't weird. Oh, just going to have a lay down and have a kip, love. Oh, okay, Cyril. And he sits down or lays down. Yeah, and he's like literally a fucking two thousand years later, thousand years later. Look at his little uh, beard. He's got a bit of the Nebuchadnezzar's going on there. You want to watch that, mate? It's gonna catch him. <gasps> Fuck me, that is startling. But you got to admit, it's free fun. <laughs> what? It is fun. This one hasn't got a fuck. Look at the jewels on this. <gasps> many, 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 many weeks. But don't make the world go wrong. The world don't go wrong. Um. He's got a leaf, but it's turned into a sword. So that one looks sinister. Okay. So, yeah, the hanky-wankies, yeah, they're not bad. Okay, they look happy. Look, guys, does that not look like a happy little facey wacy? Ah, let them live. It's not our business, is it? No one dies. Well, not already dead, so somebody did, but you know what I mean, theoretically. <sighs> anyway, I'm, I'm going to link this up after the... Um, vloggage and what it is is a photographic journal if you went to you can go to the catacombs in paris today back to catacombs and skeletons you can visit them you can visit them today but you can't go very very far the terminator yeah looks golden now oh that's that's a mandala effect i you know uh how's it doing i was going lovely um oh yeah they're giants oh they're fucking giants all right john john Vary. oh fuck yes 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 we'll look at that a bit later as you will see so yeah nothing weird going on they got all of these immaculately built out of giant masonry stone under paris yeah stacks and stacks or millions and millions of dead people and you could buy like literally a souvenir thing where you go in today for your holidays oh we're going to visit the catacombs in paris oh that sounds nice what's there then oh Loads and loads and loads of skeletons made out in macabre shapes like crosses and skulls and crossbones. Oh, that doesn't sound very nice, does it? Oh, no, it's really nice. They've got a lovely little tea shop along the way. Anyway, other catacombs are not all full of dead people, but I feel this one's under Rome. Some of them under the Vatican are full of the, just showed you the weirdest shit going down. But there are the catacomb of like Phoenician catacombs all and to Rome. If you've read Angels and Demons, they tell you that yeah, chuck a skull in for effect, vibrational effect. I think this is a hidden science, I do. I really, really do. Finding out that they give off a really nice musical tone. Yeah. I had a little sword fence with human bones um back about a year ago or something with my friend Mel. Yeah. There was all skeletons fell off the wall in the old cemetery, and basically there was all like femurs and bones and so picked them up as you do. Okay, to catch all the like the plague off them because you get you know plague and shit apparently. So we nicked them. I didn't nick them, but I'm joking, I'm really weird. Uh, but we did have a sword fence, which I don't think is weird. So, what um, do they need to paint all of these murals? Hello, Muriel, murals, and uh, the catacombs of Rome is because everyone was running around underneath Rome, the star of Bethlehem. Um, below ground level 
And we can see this from the antiquity, all of these tunnels under Rome, etc. So they were staying off the surface. Why were they staying off the surface? They are like, if we go above, have you not seen Alfred Hitchcock's the film The Birds? Oh, is it? Is it Birds Mageddon? Fuck yeah, and everything's on fire. Don't know about that though. So that's looked like what happened. Some sort of, I think the crow might be an omen. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Omen is saying, I'm watching. I'm watching. This guy got like two arms at the front. Well, most people got two arms. Not the two people. Who's this guy? He looks godly. I trust him. Listen, I followed messiahs. I follow, I know a good messiah when I see one. I followed a few. I was even considering following, um, joining the skellies, sort of like sneak in alive, see if anyone notices. Yeah. But I think, I don't think that worked. I don't think that worked. And I wouldn't get much out of it either, but I really think about it. You know, they're all deadbeats. <laughs> And plus all of that compulsive masturbating. Nobody's going to sit around that all fucking day. Jesus fucking Christ. On the... No, 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 no. So she's a Phoenician, isn't she? Yeah, she's got some sort of thing in her hand. Yeah, they scratched that out. They didn't want to see you to see the zapper thing she got that she brought from their world, which is not far away. So maybe they had to live underground. Hmm. Or maybe this was all on the surface. Post mud flood. Look at him. He's having, he's having a, a sit in the sky. Making things out of a handkerchief. A handkerchief. <laughs> uh, uh. So, yeah, under the catacombs of Rome, there's a lot of weird shit going on, but it's all Phoenician. Oh, oh. Oh, is it God? Right, let's have a holy moment. This is the head. Okay, only the head. And it's in the catacombs. Uh, I think it's in Portugal, as well, this one, maybe. Oh, let's have a look. See what he's looked like. Looks a bit Portuguese. They had it. Well, you would. You would. Yeah. We have a um, Jesus Jones here. Jones the Messiah. What's he do? Well, he's the Messiah, like, isn't he? What are you on about, Matt? Oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. See? The Last Supper Ridge. Is it a fresco? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It's a love feast. Is it a love feast? Oh, I don't know the way that's going to sound turn out. Oh, they invited the devil. Uh, a cup of coffee, a lobster, which is a parasite. It might not be a lobster. Bacon rations. A lot of boss when we have in this pay rise. Yeah. Fabian. Oh, the Fabian Society and the Fabians here. Oh, they got in early. Look at him. Is that Masons? Mason. But definitely Fabians. Oh. That could be the Fabian Society or just an ancient person actually had the name of Fabian. I know a Fabian. The Fabians are around in, in modern day. Just a name. <clears throat> Probably don't. Maybe in dummy shit. Let's not, look, let's not read into that too much. Oh, More holy moments. I feel quite moved. Now that was wind. Right, let's move on. Yeah, it's funny stuff. So skeletons, yeah, they're funny, aren't they? They're like exoskeletons, but obviously inner skeletons. I was, um, I've got a few books, old books. This one I haven't gone through before with you. <coughs> and it's Phoenician. You can see all of the devil's heads and all the Phoenician weird shit they're going around. But when I got to look at the skeleton, it's like I even thinking as a child, fucking hell, have I got that inside me? I just couldn't believe it. And, you know, the skin all, like, sort of rots away eventually or down to this muscly state. He's, like, in different stages of, uh, of transformation from skeleton, muscly. And eventually, this is covered in skin. In this case, it's just muscle and tendons, just like in the film Hellraiser. Was that the case of the transformation for these fuckers to come in? So, yeah, um, so I've dug out a lot of um, anatomy books, but I won't show you them too much because they're like, they suck a bit. Uh, right, I'm coming back for a moment, and then we're going to look at some pictures and some funny stuff. So, them's my thoughts. Did you know you can play music with human bones? And did you know um, they give off an acoustic quality? Well, you do now. So could they be used in um, the device that is actually got a massive organ in there and an acoustic, say 432, for example, quality uh, going through uh, these bones, these cells, 
which um, definitely give off a tune. Um, and you don't necessarily need to whack it. You could whack it with a, an, a sound, another sound, uh, to activate another sound, which would be the key, which would be the skeleton key. Is that the case? Let's food for thought. Chew that one over. I think that all came out right anyway. So, how many of you just shit out of nowhere? 627 of you in total. I'm live on the Great Flat Earth British Think Tank channel. And Martin Leaker channel, which is undergoing, undergoing an unfortunate copyright strike at the moment. They kick you in the bollocks and they know where to hurt you in your pocket. So they've just like, I can go live, but you know, I can't put no adverts in or shit. Which is unfortunate. I'm Q Mago. I come on in, take your skin <laughs> And rattle around in your bones. Yeah, that type of thing. That type of thing. Reminds me of Ovid. You know, the different transformations of uh, species or people into animals in that case. And some of them plant life as well. So, what's Rich saying? Uh, he's talking to Dick Richards. Good to see you, my friend. Rich, Eddie's in the house. Vividness is in the house. Liddy's in the house. Paul from Newcastle is here. Uh, he's on about CERN. It's good to see you the other night, uh, last week, last Friday, day, lunch ground. Good to catch up. We hope you enjoy your book, my friend. Got, got a book itch, it be shake. She's lovely, and she says she's still buzzing her ass off off the convention. She haven't come down yet. It be shake, Rupert Twine. Good to see you, CERN. It's, I think I don't know. I don't want to think about CERN. It's just I can't prove anything with my own eyes. I haven't seen the Hadron fucking Collider. I doubt any fucking particle zoos being built. It's just another money soaker like NASA, isn't it? You can't prove any of it. And it's all to back up false claims because we can't prove any of this of this particle zoo because we haven't got an atom smasher. Got an atom smasher in your attic? You need to get your particle accelerator on already. Everyone should have one. Yeah, you want to know about all these quarks and fucking gluons, don't you? Mm -hmm. Add. So Maria's in the house. Good to see you. Ether, me neither. Rublion. Uh, creepy, scary skeletons. No, they're not. Well, they are a bit. Depends which way you're looking at it, really. We all got skeletons inside us. That's us, apparently. A uh, super sticker from Judy Q. Wazia. I don't know what a super sticker is, but I like the sound of them. They sound fantastic. Where balls collide. Well, we can't, like, they got Alice, haven't they? You know, they got a hydro, hydro the pattern. It's called Alice, like, down the rabbit hole. And they'd like you to believe that they're doing something, you know, quantum mechanically magical with it. But they'd like you to believe that with the fucking quantum computer as well don't they doing computations not even in this fucking dimension so is it you know do unlimited calculations like instantly from another dimension in the quantum realm ant-man will show you this is true and this shit goes down it's weird how everyone's just petrified of the invisible james james did i show you i've actually got a picture yeah i've got a picture it's important i show you this because Future of humanity depends on it. We found the COVID, the Rona virus. We found it. It was a weird moment because we realized that we had the future of humanity in our hands. And, uh, you know, and I'm sorry, but they weren't lying. No, they re it really does exist. It was found in a plant pot. Yeah, yeah it was hiding all the while waiting for some d dumb sucker to walk past so it could just fucking attach itself to you. And do you know what happens then? You get a snotty nose. Fact. Yeah. It's not dribbling for days on end. Well, a couple of days, maybe. You don't want that, do you? Hmm? You may have to, like, say, go to the hospital and say, I've got a snotty nose. It's okay, madam. Follow me into the ward. Lay down. We'll just connect you up to this ventilator. Everything will be fine. Okay. Can I just tell my relatives? No. Handcuffs, <laughs> handcuffs, gag. <laughs> and they give me clipboard. <laughs> Two of them are doing spuds. <laughs> the doctors are doing spuds to one another. Pitching. Split the difference later, mate. Yeah, she was fucked anyway. Yeah, she was fucked anyway. Did you see all the dupes she was on. She was on handbag for the dupes. 
така. Пече. The harsh realities of this weird madhouse that we live in. So, Alpha Billy, good to see you. Samoa, good to see you. Brian, <laughs> absolutely sneaking in the Ivan, the rush. Oh, don't let the Benny there. Anything that's like drawing any opposition, I'm just not doing in this life anymore. Don't have to either. Um, acting very uh, despicably in the last five years. Um, I want to make appearances more on shows now. Oh, well, just do that, mate. All right. Every day is a new day, my brother. You can reinvent yourself and shit. Yeah. Get yourself up. You're, all, you're awesome. We love you. We love you. Do you have an email? Lens There you are. No, Nora. Well, look, she looks after me. She'll look after you. Aaliyah. Um, I found it really flat. Oh, well, after watching um, that movie, you're going to feel very flat earthy. I've been feeling flat earthy all day. Yeah. It's gazing at it as you muffle like the distant maps. Yeah. Lovely they are. Hardly moist they are. They're lovely. Um, Michael Stone, I get smashy uh, on a full moon night. No, you're just proper mental, mate. Yes. Listen, listen. If you're proud fucking schizo, yeah, come on a full moon. You get smashy and icy. Smashy and icy. Which one? It's up to you. It's up to you. Now nah, that's just a, that's that just seems to be a bulky thing, mate. Yeah. Don't worry about it. Just don't smash your fucking phone up. Yeah. And hide the glass ashtrays. They can be lethal. <laughs> it's not funny, is it? You're looking at your glass ashtray now, thinking, fuck you now. I know, I know. You should have got rid of that. They're hidden weapons woman stuff so it's let all these deep truths out on you guys but there you go somebody's got to tell you storm lucy hello there dear nice to see ya see i'm a poet and i know it uh, martin helicopters and police outside high fields earlier um, I heard the helicopter above my Brian, Maria. Yeah, the helicopter and the police are outside the high fields constantly. Should have seen the shit that went down there the other fucking night. You can't make it up. And I couldn't have recounted it to anyone because they would never have believed me. They'd be like, fuck off. It's like, my local pub. Not that I drink, but if I do, I'll go down there because there's a serious load of not give a fuckers. Glenich, how's it going, my old mate? Sketch, Sketch, double flat firms to infinity to you, special. Okay, let's have a little giggle. Look at antiquity, have a think about things, okay? So, in my last post last night, if you did watch it, you didn't, did you? You lost two and a half hours of uh, Tesla. What? Yeah, she's all right. Tesla. You missed it. Yeah, you get over to Flight of British Things. Oh, shit. Protein spike. Quite finished. You're telling me that's not sexual. Hmm? i got to put up with that all the fucking time. Count yourself fucking lucky. You think you've got to add life. Psh, fuck, you know, you don't even know. You're born. Anyway, <clears throat> so back to the juice. No, this is serious business. This, this is a serious history channel. We're getting to dance into deep truth here. Yeah, Wanks are like a real, like, sort of getting to be like a national treasure. And he's got his own cult. Yeah, he's really important. It's going to be the biggest cult in the world he is. Yeah, and they're all dead as well. They're on our side. But it will be with him. He's not my brother, he's his boss. Sounds brilliant. Policy media, much love to you, India. That rhymed as well. For, no, okay, I'm good at this. From, from a rhythm. Vibes, good to see you. Andrea, you're in this too. Okay, buckle in. Okay, let's reorientate my Brian and go back to sharing some screen. Make sure to share this out, 600 of you. Okay, did you actually share this out? I didn't hear you click your thingy going on, but you might have done. So thank you if you did. Oh, okay. So we were here. So I was thinking and talking about what I presented, not that you know, what I presented at the convention concerning balloon technology in the past. Well, this is from 1803, apparently. 
So it's during the Napoleonic Wars. And whether this fictitious um, version of events never actually happened or they just added it up as a fantasy, but is this why everyone was going underground? Could you actually invade a country with an airborne force of loads of ships across the Bristol Channel, a shitload of balloons carrying maybe a thousand men in each? Yeah, just drop them nicely in a field. No one dies, no parachutes needed. Um, a fleet gets scuttled, sure, and tunneling under the English Channel and taking an army all the way with it and cannon all the way under the English Channel. So I'm guessing this is Calais, Stafford, and this is Dover, or maybe the other way around. So what if we have no version of history, really? We can't tell what happened 200 years ago. No way, Jose. What if something like that went down? And that tunnel that they're showing you here depicted was a real tunnel, and that was the Channel Tunnel, which are telling you that they dug out in the 1980s, which was dug out by a Napoleonic army to shift a load of stuff for some sort of invasion that went down, that they rewrote history, kept us out of it, and it's depicted in this. So it's one of two. It's a fantasy idea of that going down, that scenario, well, that scenario is depicted in this picture, and it went down, which would explain the Channel Tunnel and make a lot of sense. I'll uh, link that up following this blogage. Right, let's have a look at some funny things that I picked up during the week. Memes, if that is even a thing. I don't even know. Yeah. Oh my God, guess what just hit the fan? It hit the fan a long time ago. It hit the fan when they... You know, made everyone stay home and done all of that weird shit that they did with everybody. Yeah. Nurse coming at you with a big smiley face, handful of fucking diamond rings and a massive, massive needle about 40 times bigger than it necessarily needs to be. And then tells you to drop your pants. It's like, what? What? I thought it was in the am. Said, nah, nah, lad, not this one. Yeah. And then you woke up out of your sweaty nightmare and realized, oh shit, um, that could really happen. Anyways, I'll take notes anyway. So, yeah, the shit hit the fan. So, in the old days, this was not thought of as being wrong, but that boy's face is wrong. We'll examine that in a minute. The Dick Handler Quartet. Now, you should be crucified for just even thinking thinking that. So, let's have a look. She's she's a Dick Handler. <laughs> Something. <laughs> oh, no, not being unkind. Look, there's nothing wrong with him. Yeah, this is just the result of interbreeding. But I get it. I get it. The neighbouring towns, 40 miles away, and you, there's only three girls in, a, say, an 80-mile radius. I get it. I get it. Okay? And you've you got, like, one of your cousins. <laughs> you should be crucified. Yeah, fuck leg day. I don't need any legs. Wouldn't that be brilliant? Yeah, if you could just, like, hover around. Sit there, lay down. Lay down. Uh, I've done it in dreams. I've laid down and flown around in a lay down position. I have done that. So I lay down in a fly position and just like, you know, maybe your head on your arm or comfy like. I just fly around. That is a little bit excessive because that would be a robot and that would be like, what, well, Nora? What are you trying to say? Enter me, Lord, and let me feel thy mercy. Now, don't look her up, Mary Hinge, because I got told. There's nothing wrong with that. It was one eight one eighty nine. Uh, this one at a charity shop. The woman, when I tried to take it off her, she actually held on to it and I pulled it back. It was like, hang on, is there something important going on with this album? I think it might be a classic, modern classic, old classic. Look at that little poodle, poor little fucker. Well, it's revolting anyway. Um, isn't it weird how dogs turn into their owners? No, I think it's the other way around, isn't it? Anyway, this is the world we live in, guys. Don't worry. Better things are to come. <laughs> Don't look at her eyes. Is she looking at me? So this is the standard British female, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, Half a bag of crisps, three vodkas, yeah, bag of whiz. So is she looking at me? No, I'm fucking looking at you at all. You is looking at me. See Claire, yeah. See Claire, yeah. She'll rip you a fucking new one. You better not look at me, mate. I ain't fucking looking at you. But you is, though, isn't you? You was looking me up and down. I fucking wasn't look 
looking at you and up and down. Like I was just walking past admiring your your clothes or lack of clothes. What are you trying to say? You're trying to say I'm a slag. No, I'm not trying to say you're a slag. He did. He said, Tina, he tried to say you're a slag. I never tried to say you're a slag. Look, girls, I just got to move on, okay? I got to get work and stuff and get on with my life and stuff. Do you want to kick in the fucking balls? Is you looking at me? Is you? So this is the British girl of today. Don't even look at it. You're going to get your lights punched out. They'll fuck you right up. God is God. Well, yeah, obviously. <laughs> what, what are you trying to say? I'm... Is that a man with a dress? Anyway, I'm confused. Let me sit and think about this. God is God. Yeah, no fucking shit, Sherlock. The art trio. Fuck me. These are a bright bunch. I bet they believe in globes. Jesus. Wept. Look at that tie. He should have been a BBC newsreader in the 1970s. He'd have fucking killed him. Oh, I want to join this cult. This is brilliant. I want you to join the Jesus space cult. Oh, brilliant. Space. That doesn't exist. Good job you do, Jesus, in your spaces to keep up that vacuum. Why? And you hang on. Hang on. Let me establish. Let me establish you the son of God. You don't need a spacesuit. Vacuums, like we've all seen Superman. Are you telling me you're not are you telling me Superman's better than you? Well, no, obviously not. So you should be able to, yeah, like Superman breathe in a fucking vacuum. Okay. Nope, not again. The tale of one doctor's frustrating search for the clitoris <laughs> by Justin. Oh, Justin. Justin Probin. What? What? Did I say something? Yes. These things exist. I know. I know. Hang on a minute. Let me just talk about that. Not too much, because obviously that would be going off on one. But clitorises. How can women get clitorises? Why can't men? Have, why don't men have clitorises? How come women can have extra bits and extra things going on? Yeah, men don't have little clitties, do they? Just saying. God was kind. <laughs> Sorry, I'm late. Yeah, I didn't want to come. So that is honesty, bold honesty. Yeah, it just slipped out. It's probably then fucking gin and tonics I've just been drinking. But bitch, I can't fucking stand you when you smile at me. I like to punch you. Ah, oh, this weed is awesome weed. She looks fucked. Let's be honest. Yeah. It looks like she's had a bit of the gorilla glue and it's grabbed her by the boo-boo and the chair's just swallowing her up. She's like, I'm fucked. <laughs> How fast you going and we go in the speeds of light. I'm red shifting. I'm red shifting. He's like, no, 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 Tiffany, it's 60 miles an hour. <laughs> Drugs are good. Just don't run out. And it's pleasant there. Not. Life is a flash of light between two entities of darkness. Just buy the fucking shoes. Cut it with all the philosophical bollocks. Wank. In it. So there's the two differences in people, isn't it? The philosophical nature that sees the deeper meaning of life. And there's the other one. It's, yeah, bitch, empty your wallet. I've got to get on already. i got a pair of shoes that needs buying already. We have 25 pairs. This pair needs buying. Shut the fuck up. Got a psycho on you, stiletto heel you in the forehead. In fact, she's a stiletto heel killer. Mum, where do babies come from? Yeah, Mary, where do babies come from? Yeah. Time to confess, Mary. There's a lot of people in reality waiting to see how this shit went. Wanting to know how this shit went down. I think there was a bit of angel probie going on myself, guys, don't you? Plus, in this, Mary's looking a bit of a looker, and he's looking right fucked off, isn't he? Joseph. Go and saw some wood, Joseph. Don't even think about her, mate. She's not worth it. Plenty more fish in the sea, mate. Mmm, you smell real good. Is that Beyonce's new fragrance? Please, just get out of my face. I can imagine Jesus being the son of God and real. Real. Okay? I'm not taking a piss at all. I'm being blasphemous. Can I get any memory of that? Okay. Um, I bet he smelled fucking lovely. It's like, you know, I bet it'd be a bit cute to have a sniff of Jesus if he was around. It's like, I bet he'd be like, just imagine that holy smell, guys. Hmm? Fantastic. Who deny, who deny Jesus smells fantastic? Who, who, who in this crowd deny that Jesus doesn't smell fantastic? You, you blasphemer. Why are you, why are you saying Jesus stinks? Huh? 
thought I'd see you coming in. So it's just soon, soon went. Anyway. So that's what I do. I'm a nurse. I stab people and I know things. Yeah, I know how to wipe your ass without getting any shit on myself. Okay. I know how to pop them pills when no one's looking. Uh, get the key to the pharmaceutical cabinet. Nod, nod, wink, wink. Dee, dee. <laughs> yeah, we know the shit goes down there. See, don't worry. You didn't have to confess all that. Spam lip case. So if you want to go out into the park one day, Okay, and you're wondering why this dog is licking your face violently or your wife's face violently, more alarmingly. It's because you got spam on your lips, you fucking spanner. Grated Fanny. No, it's not for everyone. <laughs> I don't know where they make these, probably the Philippines or some other country. Um, but it's a thing. Just have a think about that. I don't even know. So let's have a look what happened in 1985. It was a good year. I had a fantastic year in 1985. Fuck me, did I? What well, I can remember of it. But let's have a look at 80s slang. Oh, that na fucking gnarly she is, mate. That means cool. Yeah. Dude, dudette. We're still saying that now as a person. Uh, like totally. Yeah, in agreement. That's a bit fucking sort of posh fucking. I've got fronds, not friends, isn't it? Grody. Digest, digest, I don't know that. Rad. It's fucking rad, man. That's awesome. Uh, gag me with a spoon. Um, extreme like dislike. No, I de never ever heard that saying. I'm quite fucking pleased about it too because I'd be looking at like with one eyebrow up going, what this fuck on? So on the radio was careless whisper like a virgin in the sturgeon. She's a virgin. My ass. It was Madonna. It was a mandonna. Um, wake me up before you go, go. Wham. Wake me up before you go, go what? to the public toilet for a blow, blow. <laughs> I want to know what, love. I want to know where, oh, fuck me. Drop to your one knee. Put your arm into the air and fucking sing that right now, guys. Come on. I want to know what love is. I want you. Drop to the floor, guys. Hand in the air moment to show me that foreigner moment. Do you feel better for that now? I feel fantastic. I feel for you. I think I love you. Shaka can, shaka can, shake a body, shaka can, shake a body. Shake a body, shake a body, shake a body, shaka can. Shaka can. It was wicked. No, nothing to say about shaka can. So, what technology do we have? Oh, Ronald Reagan was alive. He was president. So, in the news, US President Ronald Reagan is sworn in for his second term of office. But don't worry, he's going to get shot soon because he's got Parkinson's. We can't tell anyone. In Hollywood, California, the charity single, We Are the World, will rip you right off, is recorded in the US and Africa. Millions and millions of Africans never got to see a fucking penny and they're all still dying. The joint American French expedition locates the wreck of the RMS Titanic. Then we get a movie director who's not a Freemason at all. No, no, no. Carpenter or, or any of these fuckers, they're not Freemasons at all. Get down to show you the Titanic like it's really going on, yo. So Michael Jordan is named the NBA's Rookie of the Year. I'm sorry, I don't know what any of them words actually just meant. And the popular comics are Calvin and Hobbes. And the, no, don't know what that means. Route 66. Oh, I know what that is. And remove the United States Highway System. What? What, what happens with the doors, Route 66 song? Is that negated from reality now, is it? Because you changed your fucking mind. You can't just UNESCO the shit out of everything, willy-nilly reality. How does Jenny feel about this? Jenny, how do you feel about that? Yeah, me too, quite perturbed. Technology, the first uh, com domain name, okay. Symbolics.com was registered in Symbolics Corporation. That sounds a lot of bollocks. Uh, Microsoft, oh, that sounds a bit satanic. I don't like the sounds of that. So, in the theaters, Rambo 2. Fucking brilliant. Back to the future. Ooh, the color purple. <laughs> With, I don't know why I'm laughing. With um, Orphan Winfrey and Whoopi Goldberg. Rocky, yeah, dun, dun, out of Africa. Oh, that was brilliant. It won 10 Golden Globes. So, what was in um, the television was Moonlighting. With a 17 year old Bruce Willis um, and a Sybil Shepherd. And the Golden Girls, not so far. That was about um, toilets on a bus. 
or something. I don't know. Growing Pains. I think that was about the same. Cheers. Fucking brilliant. A load of piss ends in a Boston bar talking crap. MacGyver. Never, ever watched it. I don't know what that word even means. So there you are. There's the world that went before you. An historic lesson. 1985. If you weren't there, you were now. I should have had an intro for that. Right, 1976. Now, I'll tell you what happened this year, right? I fucking baked. Yeah. So they had a child molester, another one, Gerald Ford, um, as US president. Yeah. Uh, no, no, no surprise there. So the average income was $16. It's all right. You could buy an house for 100 Um Slangs in the 70s. Psych. Just kidding. Far out. Cool. I still say that. Dream on. Oh, unrealistic. I say that. Uh, right on. Oh, I say that. In agreement. Oh, fucking hell. Can you dig it? Yeah, I say that. Oh, fucking hell. I'm right from the 70s. Anyway, women style polyesters, flared trousers. What? Mother would dress me in them. Platform shoes. Fucking great. Fire of foresight. <sighs> Flicks. I don't know what they are, but fire of foresight makes me flick. <laughs> Men, V neck, valor shirts, uh, turtlenecks. I can't wear them. It's like somebody's got their hands on my throat and strangling me to death. Polo necks the same. Mm. Chest hair. Well, did men not have chest hair before the 1970s? Sideburns, afros, and mullets. Get your fucking mullet sorted. So what was on the radio? Silly love songs. People think you get enough for silly love songs. And that would be one of the falls. I don't know which one. Oh, Kiki D. I just like her. Don't go breaking my fat. I wouldn't if I could. Alton John, Kiki D. That's like gay as fuck, but we won't know that against him. Disco Lady, Johnny Tyler, brilliant. Love it, Disco. Um, oh, what a night. Late December, another year. So they say, Four Seasons, fucking brilliant. And um, play that funky music, Wild Cherry. No, I'm not even going to see that. It's too fantastic. On the telly, it was Happy Day, so I was Fonzie. Yeah. Henry, I got a winkler. Uh, Laverne and Shirley. I used to love Laverne and Shirley. Mash. I watched the whole series only about a year ago, guys. Yeah. Fucking hot legs. Hulahan. Hot lips. Hulahan. Um, Ray Da. <laughs> uh, it's just the best program ever, isn't it? Charlie's Angels. Yeah. All right. I watched all of them. Big event. I don't know what that is either. I don't even know. Theaters. Rocky Carey. Bucket of Blood. <laughs> the Omen. Mm, why can't I go in that church, mummy? Mm, I've been in a hot sweaty. Taxi driver, that's just nasty. Are you looking at me? Are you looking at me? That's like lessons in if you want to be a psycho, get a specific book and watch Taxi Driver, and you will be a psychopath in no time at all. So the first laser printer was introduced to by IBM. Oh, fucking hell, we'll be fucking doing. Uh, NASA, knowing ever, and revealed his first space shuttle in the Enterprise. Knowing ever, knowing ever. Uh, the first commercial Concorde flight takes off and its cruising speed at 1,300 miles an hour. I will give you that one. All right. So, as you can see, 1976 was a boiling hot year. It was bollocks. Music was fucking fantastic, though. Did you have one of these? If I'd have had one, it would have been Heinz Beans fucking bag. So, you could have one of them in the 70s. No, not the female. The Campbell's bag. Did you have one? I had that radio. That exact that is my radio. I'd love that radio now. Back. They uh didn't catch on. Surprisingly, I don't know why. I think that's a fabulous idea. You could have like Jaffa Cake bag or your favorite snack, really. Hmm? They're really munchables bag. Slush puppy bag. It doesn't matter. I'm just a poor boy. Nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy from a poor family. That happens, Edgar. Nobody likes you because you're weird. I've explained this on one of my previous vlogs. <coughs> Let's move on. Uh, more stuff to giggle at a bit later, if you did giggle. I don't know. Maybe it just makes me laugh. And nobody else. I don't even know. In Paris, okay, in the 18th century, yeah, I know. As early as that, they were doing this shit going down. And <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, if Franklin's doing it in America at this period, and in France, they are setting up these towers with aerostat collecting. And this is not like, oh, I am wrongly interpreting this picture. This is what is happening. It's aerostat bringing down electricity out of the ether, form of free energy, along with this antenna. 
I think it's showing maybe lightning coming out here to show you what it does. Collecting the energy, which is transferred from this wire here into these lamppost things, which you see all over antiquity, these over elaborate with a ball on top. And look at this. And there would have been a spark going between there and there where this would have been active charge grabbed out of the ether. So free energy, okay, 18th century. And as you know, in America, you've got Benjamin Franklin's working with static electricity. They're doing it in France. It's a thing. They know to get free energy out of the ether. And there's a depiction showing you that that is the case. Do you disagree? Okay. Well, I'll give you the link anyway. You can examine it yourself and all the information on it there. Okay. For dating, because it's really fucking early to have static electricity gathering, I'll be honest. And another depiction. Okay. I don't know what's going on with this. And is it like um, aspects of the psyche again? And it's obviously French. It says air. And you got this. So it says air. And like I said, with the aerostat balloons, um, you know, you've got an air balloon and a ship. Um, maybe as a bar, pub sign, public house sign. And this little boy is in like some Zimmerfrain, unfortunately. So bad happens. And he's got a balloon. Um, I'm thinking that these people got the technology just to grab charge. Um, but like you've got a demon here. Apparently he's grabbing a cat's tail who's an intellectual cat. We'll see some more examples of that maybe later on. Who even knows? What's that for? Why would you keep in that little cage on the corner? And you see a lot of windows broke as well. And I notice, um, you know, you get a lot of bars on church windows and stuff. Are they keeping stuff out or are they keeping stuff in? Who even knows? So let's check my chat. Hi, guys. It's lovely to see you. Keep an eye on it all. Please, Jennykins and Rich and Kappa and Hippie. Thank you. Lovely people. I'm well, moving on. So not that I want to spend too much time on this. I'm going to have a look at chat now and see what we think, right? So um, thrust these philosophy and memoirs of this dude who's like the Mac Marie de Agen, right? And I'm like... Maybe that should say the marquee be sad looking at these fucking pictures. So, yeah, um, these I found, <laughs> they're quite early. It's like Aries. So if you get in like the um, Phoenician, obviously, context with their Phoenician gorgages. So what are Phoenician gorgages getting up to? Yeah. Okay. So I may not go any further with this because it's like really bad, you know, it's not content. Okay. And I might not like one of French Brian's or anything. So I'm going to look in chat now. Okay, and see what we're thinking. See if I can get away with this of YouTube just. Okay, so she's, that's all right. She's shining that la oh, light, that laser, oh, that mirror thing that they got. And she, oh dear, are these conjoined twins? Oh dear, what's going on there? <laughs> so I was like, oh dear, oh dear. That's a bit naughty, isn't it? Got a willy. They got a willy. So listen, I'm, I'm not going to go too deeply into these. No, I'm going to vote anyway. I don't think this is uh, this is actually... Horn of plenty. Ha ha, Michael Stones. No, if the first person that says yes, I'm going to have a look at these further. Otherwise, we're not going to have a look at these. I will link them up so you can look at them later. Not too closely. Okay. It ends up like Hank. Okay. CMS. And CMS is like apparently irreversible. So, yeah, let's have a. What is the matter with you, Dallas Fowler? I'd expect a yes from you. Okay. But not, not so much you, Lady Knox. Okay. Oh, no, let's have a look. He's getting stuck in Jemima. Let's have a look at this one. <laughs> what? All right. If it's too bad, um, I'll, obviously I, I won't pan in, right? I, I can uh, I can tell if it's too bad. All right. Let's have a look. Uh, that's not too bad. Yeah. There's there's a Willie involved. He looks like a chick though. Oh dear. Oh dear, that's actually like almost porn, isn't it? It's not really because we're looking in a historical context, yeah, and no, no other context. So let's have a look at a few more, shall we? No, I don't know it's really not, isn't it? <laughs> you don't see what the other side. Oh, oh, I definitely look at that. One. <laughs> right, let's have a look. Oh, what's all that noise? What are you doing, Fanny? Oh, nothing, nothing. <laughs> oh, they're not too actually. 
I'm going to be shy now. I'm going to be hot. I'm not sure I should carry on with these. Maybe it's a bit too much for you too. I'm not sure if anything like this has been done before. Let's get it. Let's see what else we can get away with. Anyway, that looks a bit naughty. What? It's all right, guys. No, we looked at that one. It's in historical context. Listen, I'm a I'm history teacher, more or less, aren't I? So if I'm going to look at like whatever the trustees of philosophy and memoirs of fucking Mr. Pervy bollocks are, we're going to have a look, aren't we? All right, I'm not sure if that one looks all so right. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay. If anything really bad's got oh, 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 take it funny with the feather. <laughs> oh, come on. It's funny. <coughs> Apparently, <coughs> Phoenician paradigm hasn't changed too much uh, over the years. There's a lot of writing. So if you speak French, it's going to give you some idea of what shit's going down here. Okay. So I'll link this up later. Let's have a little look. Oh, there's nothing going on there. He's looking through the window. But, oops. <laughs> 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 All right. No more. No more. All right, you, you you, people put me up to that. I didn't want to do that. Okay. No, no, no. All right. You know that. I'll link it up later. So, yeah. I think I got away with that. YouTube is still running. <sighs> Let's take a deep breath after that, shall we, guys? Yeah. Let's try and reorientate ourselves with reality. Remember where we are. Look around us. Look around our environment. Try and remember where we are. Watching Flat Earth British. Yeah. Where these do these commissions? I don't know what is commissions on what is not. I don't know about what's going on with reality at the moment, Sherry, dear. But what I do know and what I do appreciate is a lovely bit of Tatarian architecture. That's my thing. So what we got here. Boston, Massachusetts. Okay, it's okay. Um, about 1905, and it's the Chamber of Commerce building in Detroit. Okay, in Detroit. Uh, oh, Detroit Publishing Company. Okay, it's in Boston. Check out these windows, so all the way around. And look, this bit here on this door, these bits look newish. But the stone certainly doesn't. Look at the, doesn't. Look at the size of these stones at the top. The size, size of that for a head lintel compared to a person, I mean. How many tons would that be? How do they get these up here? And then they get like more as it goes further up. How do they get them up there? Wow. And the size of them windows. And then, like with all of these Italian buildings, top heavy, all of that, like circusy bit, a fleur de lis almost on top. And a wire coming off there, conducted in. But what a beautiful, beautiful building. I love this image. This is a shoppy image. You can get right up close. But, you know, in a world of horse and cart, no car around at the moment in this place. You've got big skyscrapers. They brought all the stone, horse and cart, and they built this massive building that looks like a crown on top. Does it not? And there it is, 1905. It's full form. So it just looks like a royal crown, doesn't it? But, you know, if we're looking at it like that, it's just all disproportionate. You're looking at, like, the top bit. And as you can see, the bottom windows there, this thing's infinitely lower. You just feel it. I do. I've got, I've got a mud flood eye. Right, let's have a look at some uh, odd picks. Uh, stuff. Okay. Oh, two and a half hours in. We're an hour and a half in. That's 10. That's cool enough. So, did you ever have one of these come through the mail? So, yeah, apparently, um, I'm not sure what country that is. It looks like a far eastern country. You um, have a parcel through, obviously, not the letterbox. The postman would have to knock because that wouldn't go through the letterbox. Um, and then you would have to guess what it is. Could you sign for this? Oh, could you sign for this, please? And then you sign for it, like, quickly and nervously, Lee. And then you take it quickly, and he's like, what did you think this was? It's like, a book? Album? No. Stupid man. It's a fucking head, obviously. So you can like, literally send a head through the post. Um, I'm not sure if you get away with that with Royal Mail these days. All the blood and stuff. Anyway, who's going to give it a test? Oh, just saying. Hmm. Seashells, seashells on the seashore. Check this out. Northern Scotland Hydro electric board and look at the size of the turbines that they had 
And this is like, you know, 100 years ago, they're building massive places like this, massive turbines, which are perfect uh, geometry, by the way. So like Fibonacci going on there big time. And they're just like the seashell and the turbine driving that air, Taurus, driving them turbines. Now this woman, if she's a woman, I think it's like um, Galen, Planet of the Apes going on underneath. I think I can literally see an eye looking straight at you. It looks a bit of a reptilian eye looking at it. For some reason, she's either in deep, 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 deep morning, which is like more than morning. It's like proper morning. And mid-morning, <laughs> brunch. <laughs> and she's really pissed off and she can't let anyone see her fucking boat race, yeah? And I, maybe she's just like really, really fucking ugly, but that would be unkind because everyone's beautiful in their own way, isn't it? And she's got a strange lollipop stick as well with her hands off to grab people by the nostril and pull them to her. You, come here. Because she looks like an evil fucker. I might be wrong. She's probably really lovely, but how can you tell she's got like a bag over her head? So... If you think like today's weird times, listen, it's always been fucking weird. So weird that if you're going off to the Crimean War and you're a member of like the Cold Stream Guard, it's brilliant. It's like, I can't go off to war. Why can't you go off to war, Jones? Because I want to take my wife and kids with me, innit? You can't take the kids. It's a fucking war. But you take the wife. She wash my dishes and my clothes. And that's what they did. So the Cold Stream Guards, yeah, took their wives with them to war. Okay, because this wasn't really that dangerous business. The, the what you had to worry about was the weather. But if you've got a wife, everything's sorted. And that in the background is the Bosphorus. And in the background, you can see there is Istanbul. And that is in 1860s. And this is a head embarkation for Crimean War. They probably went home really wealthy. Maybe. Here's another map I dug up this week, and it shows, again, a green and lovely Sahara Desert. It's not green and lovely now, is it? I know. Why is that in loads of maps, that it's green and lovely? So we've got the lungs of Earth, all of them trees in the whole of North America, uh, North South America, and it's all jungle and the mid bit here is as well and across here india and it's a it's like a band and if it's on the flat of map it makes all perfect sense it's all in a circle but what is this and it's like that mountain range again which isn't really there anymore a green and pleasant africa and they always got the red sea as red it's not fucking red it's blue stupid so what are they telling us with this artwork Phoenicians are coming out of the water, half formed. They don't have human bodies as such. And their influence over the royal families. And it's always the Phoenicians are giving them the power. Look at her. She's like in a trance. Yeah, She's like gone. We've got celestial trumpets going on. They're going to give her the orb, the scepter. you got the power. You'll rule the world. All this land you now stand on in this small part of this massive place is now yours. When do I get the rest of it? Oh, no. These, these in here are not to know all that exists, which we, most people don't. But this place, there's a lot more going on, guys. There's a lot more in here and outside. So there's your typical mud flood street. Okay, that's not snow because obviously these are in summer dresses. And it looks to be in Russia. It's got a portal all up there. Good ventilation for the loft. But um, it's mud, isn't it? It's mud everywhere. And it's mud over them windows there. And it's coming down the street there. And it's over them windows there. And it carries on down the street there. Mud. Mud. Inglorious mud. Nothing quite like it for... Good in the blood. Ah, oh, we found this fucking thing. We haven't got a fucking clue what it is. Yeah, it looks fucked. Yeah, it looks fucked. I said that. And that guy behind, I don't know where he's wanting to do I'm taller than everyone else thing going on. Yeah. Um, they found this out in the fields. They came in, examined it. And the middle bit, admittedly, looks like it's been made. I get that out of paper mache. Hiya, Raph Wigan in. Good to see you, my friend. 
And um, he looks sciencey. And he's the guys that found it. And it looks fucked. So what it is, I don't know. Something that looks fucked. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, so in the past, this is how intelligent cats were. Like we human beings have been retarded to the point of believing in cartoons. And in the past, the cats were far more intelligent. You could literally, um, like, just dangle a packet of whiskers super meat in front of them and say, this is yours, kitty, if you go and take Benjamin out for a walk. Meow. Put a little pretty dress on, and off they go, take the sproggage for a walk. Yeah? Don't go near the busy road. Oh, oh, shh, shh. What did he say? Oh, you're talking over him again. What? I can't hear him, Alfred. Oh, he's good. This is flat earth British, isn't he? Shh, shh. Oh, oh, I knew that all the time. Oh, he's good, isn't he? Oh, he's good. He's good. Oh, yeah, yeah. As you can see, yeah, dogs love to iron and watch flat earth British. So. Yeah, it's a couple of dogs here as well. One of them is half human. This is apparently normal. I can't really tell anymore what's going on anymore. She's got flip flops on. The feet are called deformed. I don't know. He looks super duper fucked off. Look at the mudflood basement going on as well. He's like, she's sitting here. She haven't even took a photograph of that mudflood fucking basement. I'm talking like this. I'm coming down. He's fat. Yeah. Yeah. Dog school. So they used to have dog teachers over cats. There was no discrimination in the past, guys. Okay, they had little little poodles, little puppies, excuse me, uh, teaching little kittens, which is brilliant for getting them out into the world. Because let's be honest, I know they got nine lives and shit, but cats have them. Cats can have a bad time. You know, with eagles and stuff. Anyway, this is something they're going to need to know. R-A-T, rat. Now, look at this little cat here. I think it's going to go a long way in life. Look how it pays attention. He, yeah, he's miles away thinking, food is daydream thoughts. He won't, he won't, he won't accomplish anything. This one, yeah, this one's just sad. Just wants to be cutched and smoothed and go back to its box or wherever he's living and doesn't like school at all. So he's a bit of a rebel. And see, he's got punk rock hair anyway. So, yeah, this one in the tartan. Yeah, he's following that well. Happy times. Disney. They're really, really fucking sinister and sneaky and weird. And if you went to Disney World in the past, they used to have Easter bonnet parades. Did you know about them? These are superimposed, obviously. These are not real human beings. If they were, I would I would be really scared. The, the middle thing is real. It's a big white bunny rabbit, which is also sinister in itself. So this is what they used to do in the past. It's to do with Jesus. Yeah, yeah. Easter's to do with Jesus. Yeah, yeah, because... Come on, get the story right. You wear a bonnet, you have Easter eggs, you have an Easter bunny because Jesus rose from the dead. Makes perfect sense to my Brian. <laughs> Philistines. Anyway, what is in there? Get the fuck off. I'm going to step on him. They're carrying this important box. I feel it may be the Ark of the Covenant or something important in there. Whatever it is, other people have stuck their hands on there and their hands have stuck on there forever. We warned you. And this one, he's putting his hands on there because the attraction is so much that he has to step on somebody to get up there and fucking touch that box. It's a bit of a button pusher, isn't he? Remind you of anyone? Okay. So another engraving of Rome and antiquity. I feel these might be a bit Rome uh, giantage. And he's like, how much? How much what? How much for the for the woofer? Eight inch woofer. How much? Thinking I want it for my chariot. Is it loud? It's fucking boss, eh, mate? It's the best. Really. So he's gonna pay gonna pair of speakers for his chariot on the market. He's playing a bit of a flute in the background, but that's fucking annoying. Uh sell a cow. Or oh, slaughter a cow. What else is going on in the Roman world? Who wants their head chopped off? Um, they're all dressing weird as well. These might might not be giants. Admittedly, they might be kids. It's difficult to say. So it's a bit of a market. It's a bit of a free for all. They're selling good speakers, though. So I don't blame them having a queue. It's probably maybe this is just like Black Friday. All oh, right, let's have a look what's going on in here. 
the minion conictium vestriv. So it's a bath, it's a Phoenician thing going on. Okay, it's like she's just arrived out of the water, she's still got seaweed and shit on her. Yeah, seaweed. And shit. <laughs> Get her into the font. Let's watch that fucking uh you, you don't have to exp I don't have to explain to you. You all know how this shit goes down. You've all seen Daryl Hannah, haven't you? In Splash. What is Phoenician insanity going on? Oh, who's ruling? Ra Ramed. Ramed is the ruler. Staghead. So look at Staghead. What's he got? He's like, what gives, ladies? Oh, she's just got to get this last bit of seaweed. It's stuck. Let me scrape it off with my nail. Put you off mermaids, don't it, all that? So there was nothing strange going on in the past. Pretty normal stuff. Oh, the internet was fantastic. Look at this. Look at this. Night vision goggles. And look at this as well. Yeah. It can do, I don't even know. It's magical. I would have walked out like that. Gas powered as well. Explosive. Blow your head off. Now, think about this. Beauty. That's wise words from Martin right now. Beauty is only skin deep. Look at the way he's looking at her. He loves her. He loves her. She loves him. And just because he's a swamp monster, let's not hold that against him. It's probably really nice, very loving. So they're going to have like little swamp monster children. I'm really feeling quite emotional about it right now, guys. I'm so happy for them. Are you happy for them? Be happy for them. I tried to fly. I wouldn't try like that. Yeah, I'd use explosives and jetpacks. That's just fucking stupid. But he tried springs. That works. That works. I always collect, collect big springs thinking, I'm going to do a spring your jack and stick a massive fan on your back. How is he operating? More electric source, I don't know. Maybe wind power. <laughs> Eat a little tandoori beforehand. <coughs> Vanilla skies. He hides in what he's diving into. I bet that worked. What's he standing on? Tree stump. This worked. Yeah. Is this pedal it? No, I think that's definitely a fake photograph. But they just show you that this is the way they're thinking in the Victorian era. Here is the early days of the NASA space program. Yeah. This was their first astronaut suits. They didn't intend to have them as a giant nappy full of water for you to poo and pee yourself in and uh, recycle the water and what have you. They had no intent with that. What they thought you would do is slip into some sort of module and walk out into the Martian or Lunan landscape and playing golf, <laughs> getting in your buggy car like Jimmy Hendrix and rip off down the beach <laughs> and all the other stuff that you would do if you went to the moon, except for take a telescope or take some photographs or anything decent. Now, I knew there was something going on with the Wizard of Oz. Never put my finger on it exactly. <laughs> Scarecrow looks really, really happy, doesn't he? <laughs> Tim Manzo is smart. No, that's just bad thinking. Anyway, Dorothy looks happy. Fuck off, Toto. <laughs> this is um, another cult that came before us. Okay. The cult of stupid people. They believe in the globe. And they got a lizard as their leader floating on the ceiling. It actually is running along the ceiling. Yeah, spooky shit. Look at the hats they got on. And they don't wear shirts. Yeah, because it's part of their belief thing. And um, the other guys, they got white hats on and they're flagellating. Yeah, they love a good flagellate. Yeah, I don't know what it means. I'm just getting, getting all of this information from Dan Brown books. Cyclopses are real. It must be if they got a cyclops skull. Yeah, admittedly, it might be just made up and metal plaster and Paris and shit. It's got a line across the top of the skull and a weird bit at the top of the skull, admittedly. But if it's real, what we're looking at here is an example of a skull of a cyclops. Just let that sink in a minute. Yeah, one eye. Imagine if he had bad eyesight. How would he wear glasses? Do you ever think about that? Monocle, who said that? You fucking smart ass. Do you ever see this? This is an infant. So nobody laughs because it's cruel. 
Um, it's got two bodies. One walking one way and one walking the other. Needless to say, they never got anywhere quick. They just kept walking into one another. Never choreographed their feet work. They could have gone on X Factor or something and just worked out a wicked dance choreographic thing. That would have worked. So do you know when you've got like a big sort of lump of um, plasticine and you pull it in two bits? It rips like that, doesn't it? Oh, all right. And we use another analogy, licorice. When you pull it and it all stretches, yeah, and it ends up like that. Or a stick of big bubble gum and it goes like that. Like what happened with our rock? It's like somebody just grabbed it and just pulled it and twisted it away. That's no geological formation or some twisted thing. Somebody was walking down a beach one day and they decided to lay in the water and beside them, somebody was laying down, having a kip. Apparently, when they had a kip, something happened and they stayed asleep and rocky. So I got a friend, Lisa and Nora as well in chat and Lisa in Glastonbury. They do street art. It ain't new. Well, obviously, because I bet the Romans were doing it or whatever, the Phoenicians. But this woman's doing pavement art in, in London. And they look really nice. Yeah. Come on. You need to up your game, Nora. Look at these. These are fantastic. Fuck all them Renaissance paintings. <laughs> but, yeah, I hope she's killing it. So, yeah. Some things don't change. Good to know. Did you know that? Did you know that? Comments, comments, and comments. So this is his and bad Kings and Brunel. Obviously, he's doing a Freemasonic thing, and the guy's like five foot two, something like that. And he's apparently got syphilis or something. He's going to walk away from camera in a minute, have a stroke, have a heart attack, drop dead, bollocks. Why do they pose him in a photograph that looks like he's been put in front of? He doesn't even look like he's there to me. As uh, looks like he's just been placed in front of it, and the biggest giant machinery chains apparently for the Great Eastern he's building. You've ever seen in your life. It's like it's a piss take. It's like this is the world of giants and this tiny little fucking Freemason guy put in front of it. Fucking bollocks. So, so I had a look at Rome when it was still a bit muddy. And this is an early photograph. Look at this classical world and all of the tunnels that go beneath it to that catacomb, which are all under all of these cities, these Asian cities, and in Europe. Everyone got underground. This is a nice little image in Italy. Look. Coming through this arch. Nice colorized image. Bit of the classical world left over, guys. And this is actually San Francisco. And I was just looking at these buildings here because this one's mud flooded and everything's in front of it. It's got wooden boards. Just wooden boards. Why would you have that big stone building with just wooden boards? Makes no fucking sense to my Brian. Um, that's the entrance to luck now before basically it's like wiped off the face of the earth in some sort of strange reset. And it's like everything seems to be missing here as well. And you've got this buried Roman, if you like, arch to enter the city. Luck now in it, India. I've shown loads of photographs and done vlogs about luck now and its destruction. It was supposed to be in some sort of rebellion and uprising, whatever. So, South America, some sort of Aztec y Mayan looking affair. Looks more Aztec. Um, and that's way buried in the mud, isn't it? Little palm trees. And it's weird how the doors are all ripped out and all the brickwork, almost as if they've just been like pulled out or something, or something's been taken away. But all of that decoration, you know, there's meaning to it all. Like this building here, for example. Why would you build that big bay window? So I was trying to envision, okay, you step out into it. And then you got like, oh, all the outside all around you. That would be nice sun shining. I get that. Maybe read a book, put a chair in there. Then what about all this? Looks like a little church or fashies going on underneath to hold it up. And then what about these tiny little windows? They wouldn't let any natural light in. Would they? At all. And look where they're placed. What's that for a dwarf? A little tiny door. And then up here. Well, what's that for? Chained up. And then this window. But then you get this big, grand window. So it could have been some technology, invigoration technology. Something like an organite chair, if you like. 
going on. Who knows? So that is in or was in is in Glasgow. In Glasgow, it's um, this is a late eighteen hundreds photograph, and this was like um, gone. I think by the seventies, but it's like um, giant tower. And a Greco-Romano temple on top. Glasgow, I've been looking at. It's got some fantastic architecture. So it's a very famous Roman arch. I've been through this myself. You go through this to get into the Forum in Rome. And I'm always intrigued with these bit in the seat, you know, in the uh, I think it's part of the technology. I can't help thinking this is the underneath of what something would have been clipped into. Some, you know, metal gubbins and technology. Demagnetization, the whole thing looks like a magnet. <clears throat> something like that. Something that could permit you to go in that city and you had to go through it to go, you know, into the city. Yeah, you couldn't just walk across the field. You've got to go through that arch. So checkpoints as well. So giant statue of uh, Constantine the Great. And this is in Rome as well. And I mean, they're proper massive. And this really weird hand is pointing up again. Because you're supposed to take note of what's going on above. Look up. Why? It's chemtrails to shit. Can't see what's going on. Look beyond the chemtrails. You fucking having a giraffe, aren't you? So little earthquakes happen all over Italy, and apparently buildings just like sort of badunched. Look at this fella looking up at this building, wondering how the fucking hell did all that happen? Everything else looks absolutely fine. Just that building sort of just went badunched and disappeared. This one seems all right. But Italy does get earthquakes. And look at the size of that. Still active arch with the water. So important to them, the water and the Phoenicians. Look at all of that arch work. Just all of the ornamentation. All of this shit for what? For what? Just to say all of this bullshit. Glory be fucking Rome. Um, but it's an active water feature. And it would, been, it would have been in the ancient world special water it would have been invigorating water so mermaids real fantasy or just a key to the origins of humanity and where we've truly arrived from maybe they are telling us you know when they tell us in their narrative oh yeah we came out of the sea lungfish struck by lightning sprung legs became a space monkey and then a human or whatever <clears throat> in that order so here's some weather veins on the tops of churches and towers in antiquity. And a vein, like a vein, like a gold vein, vein in your arm. And um, you get wire veins as well, veins in wiring. So there's an electrical connotation to the vein anyway. And some of them are like a cockerel. I'm kind of thinking that's just they're rubbing their noses in it. And so this one has got like the Grim Reaper. So if you live in that town, I'm guessing everyone's got a really grumpy fucking face on them. So I wonder why not. It's fucking Grim Reaper, isn't it? Trick photography in the Victorian era was really big business. Or maybe that's just real. So a cool fucking afro on her. And look at that head floating out that disc. Shit, that happens. I poo myself and run out of the door. Well, not literally poo myself, because that would be weird. Okay, so, um, 570 of you watching this in um, my Matt Leaker channel, could you please stop that math, Matt, um, share this out, good head, ha ha, very funny, Diana is dead, Diana is dead, when this came up, I was like, oh yeah, that was a sad fucking day, I really felt, felt unhappy, I was like, I'm going to cry, <laughs> it was really sad, did you die, I loved her, Oh, fucking hell, no. But it lasted about a day because I was sitting there then waiting. It's like, all right, she's dead. Like, some evidence of this happening will show up soon, surely. And as I waited and the days went by, it just got all more fucking confusing. I was like, so I guess in the not actually got any evidence then, considering there's so many cameramen there and they got the car picture and everything else. So I'm guessing this never really happened. So I gave up with the whole Diana grieving thing. Um, days in, because I realised, like, hang on, where's the fucking evidence? So, um, yeah, then she became married fucking John 
Elton John became Dyfurnish, whatever. <laughs> Crack. What made that happen, I wonder? It just, if you were around that specific time of day, like that little tree up there, it would happen in one go. But no one was there to witness it, but it still happened. What forces made it happen? I don't know. Boo! <laughs> you scared me. You look like you made of sand. I am made of sand. Oh, fucking hell. So, solidified sand monster, guys. Yeah, you've seen it here on Flat Earth British first. Tell, every, tell everybody. This is the White Cliffs of, I don't know. No, this is in Norway. Any Norwegian viewer? This is in your fjord. This is another fjord. But they got two white cliffs made of chalk facing one another. Imagine being down there. How trippy. As long as there's no water in there. That would be really trippy looking up. So I don't know if you haven't seen that before. I've never seen that before. What about this? Monster taking over. Yeah. It's going to take over the whole world. Did you hear about this? It's a triffid. So this is Angkor Wat being taken over by the jungle day by day. And it, like it's weird how these trees just, the roots cover stuff. And it takes nature back. Nature takes it all back. It's cool. It's cool and weird and trippy is nature. How do you think that happened? Everything just fell away one day, again, when nobody there was, you know, to quantum mechanically collapse the wave function to perceive this in consciousness according to their narrative. Anybody was not there to see this happen. Yet, all of them rocks fell away one day, leaving this one balancing like so. Fuck me. That's weird. Enoch Station, London. They did a bit of a tatter job back in the day. There it is, beautiful little tower building on top, look. Towers. It's like a bit of old Germany or something. Boom, underneath. There's the rest of the building all the way down here. You've got the two tube. Two tubes there. Not very deep, the tubes at Enoch Station. So there it is back in the day. I can't blow it up. Enoch Street Station, Glasgow. And it's still there now. And it's a little tiny red building. they got this piece of, piece of shit. To replace what was this. And they do it everywhere. Yeah. It looked like that. And now it's like sticking out of the fucking ground. To that. So yeah, Glasgow's cool. This is um in Cayman, Cayman Sea of Cayman. And somebody's gone to the effort to put a beautiful mermaidage at the bottom. She wants to get to the top. See what see what one. What's going up there? What's that smell? What's that smell? It's a pina colada on the beach. Bit of a smash world. Looks Arabic, but look at all the stones at the bottom all worn away, not up here. Looks blackened at the top. Would you disagree? Something's cracked it hard. So it's a massive event. And then it's all washed at the bottom Work from like water damage. So there's a bit of burning and a bit of water damage on there. Nasty, nasty, nasty. Same with that. Look at that bit of technology. Just shattered from the cataclysm. All the stones just falling off here. Just mad. Mad. Whatever this device did, it's just insane. Look at the technology in there. Shrines my ass. So Ramat Gan in Israel, 1923. There's a guy like with a pail of water and a couple of shacks. And apparently in the modern day, Ramagan, Israel today is a massive city with big skyscrapers, and it happens that quick. I mean, they just shit massive cities out of nowhere in 100 years, guys. Like massive cities out of nowhere, like Las Vegas, for example, in less time. So, this is uh, Sophia, uh, Santa Sophia, and it's Istanbul, uh, but it's weird. This is in the center of the city, and you've got all of this um, rock and antiquity, and just basically mess uh so close to that site because in the center of the city i'm wondering if it was all like that in this photograph because i've seen you know when i went into istanbul the first time it was like they never had pavements they had still mud now you're looking at that you're wondering that looks like a big fucking door hinge is what you're thinking right now it's not door hinge this is the real guns of navarone only it wasn't in uh, Greece. This one was in the Philippines. It was used by the Philippines to fight a massive battle against the Japanese Imperial Army. 
uh, to basically because MacArthur, MacArthur said he ain't gonna go back then until then shit done, sort of bollocks. Um, which apparently did, it's, you know, keep to his word because he had stiffy about it. The bird there. Um, anyway, so use a massive cannons and look at the fire of the Japanese fleet uh, trying to smash and put this cannon out. The size of the animal hitting it. And do you know what? Stayed in place. Stayed in place. Even all that time later. The real guns of Navarro. Dun, 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 dun. Sending that rap bomb. <laughs> dun, sending David Niven. Dun, 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 dun. I bet it's full of caves in there full of caves so the japanese are good shit as well as the germans and that cool i don't know exactly what happened to the alpine eternity i have been on ships when i was in the merchant navy that did lose a bit of metal off the side from water damage i was like what it's like water can rip metal didn't you know matt I was like no not until now so i can't be sure if water has done that um, but it's hit something because it's a jetty by the look of it. And it's ripped the bows clean in two. And that is a right off that ship. It's fucked. It's fucked. But um, I bet that shuddered to be on board there when you hit it. Because when you hit anything on board the ship, the whole thing shudders. So that looks fucked. It's a water tower in America. And water towers are like magical and this is like using vortex technology which is why it's an upside down pyramid this is why it's a comb because it's spinning and it's vortexing before it comes through to the water supply but they're not practicing the same in the modern day this ugly monstrosity is in serbia and it was designed by an artist as a water fountain I mean, the fountain never actually got active. No one gave a shit and everyone ran away because it was so fucking puke. The entire area just died. Fucking visual poisoning. Yeah. What was he thinking? He just had a really, really bad trip. Woke up and fucking knocked out of Because that is dire. Danny. Dire. <laughs> Which is pretty bad. <laughs> That didn't exist. I know. It's an artist impression. But wouldn't it be nice if it did exist? Is it in the hotel at the end of the water thing? It looks Italian anyway. So, yeah, raw iron. Um, over antiquity, I've been thinking about, like, they go to so much effort to, or, you know, ornate their raw iron in the... There's no need for all that. They could just leave all that out, you know no need for all these flowers and decoration but with the um so-called victorians their attention to detail and you know just the stuff with their raw iron work is just absolutely brilliant it's just they don't do, do anything like this now in the modern day so why were they doing it then it's technology so if you was planning a holiday in the himalayas yeah this year or next year or any year in the future now's don't do this, yeah? This is a whole load of stupid as fuckness. And do you know what? The front of the bus falls off, which it will. The driver's going to get out, because it's in India, and he's going to gaffer tape it back on. And then you're going to go back to them stupid fucking roads. One mistake, guess what happened? Go. Do go to India, just don't go on that. Stupid Himalayan roads because I'm not I'm not really feeling it. So this was found in a German forest, and it's an old hippie taken back by nature and beautiful VW camper. Unfortunately, the people who were in the VW camper were thought to be still in there. <laughs> yeah, scared to death on magic mushrooms in the middle of the forest. Yeah. Oh no, fully alive. Yeah, they've just like they were in there, they were 17, and they're like they're in the 70s now. <laughs> what have they been eating? Moss. Reindeer moss. Lots and lots of moss. <laughs> this tree plays a fine tune. Yeah. Oh, bah. <laughs> bah. Oh, duh. don't worry. Don't worry. He likes a bit of bah. This is a pretty scene, man. In a church with rainbow colours. 
Now, whoever designed this is a bit better than that Serbian architect. This one adds like obviously a good supply of hallucinogenics in his office. <laughs> I think that's what's going on with cloisters. You know, these cloisters and cathedrals is why this this perspective is just stunning, isn't it? And the way these come in and all of this going on on the ceilings. Technasmia is a technology. It's just mad shit, yo. Spiral staircases. Why the effort? Why not just a straight staircase? Why you got to go to the left in this case? Round and round the staircases. Like um, when dogs go to lay down, they do a couple of circles before they lay down. Cats will do the same. Most animals, except for us mammals. So it's a natural way to unwind your Taurus before you go up to the Wooden Hill to Bedfordshire. Animals do the same. So a sp spiral staircase is a, a toroidal science and unwind on the toroidal to get up to, in this case, the kingdom of heaven, your bed device, where you have your lovely dream images. Ah, oh. There's that trippy architect again. He had a really good day on the uh, knocking up shit day on his computer back in like AD 370 bollocks or whatever. So is this a mandala effect? I thought Gandhi was poisoned. Well, anyway, Gandhi is shot dead. Yeah, you're the first on Flat Earth British. Yeah, riots in Bombay after Hindu assassin fires a prayer meeting. So Gandhi, uh, Gandhi's like, um, do not fight. It is a bit bad to be hitting one another with your flip-flop like that. And then somebody comes along and shoots him. And he's like, it's okay. Because he was doing, he was like, basically, you've all seen the Warriors. Yeah, that's what happened. That's what happened. The Warrior did it. The Warrior shot Gandhi is what happened. <laughs> uh. Oh, look at this load of smashed fuck up, fucked upness. And this water feature as well. It's got all like plants on top, almost as if the mud came down from above or the whole thing itself was underwater. And that looks like the whole thing is by the bottom of a fish tank. Just two lost souls from in a fishbowl year after year. And could it have been like this? The galley comes in in the old days and it's like a city with tens of thousands of people who even knows millions of people on these giant ships, city ships, with cathedrals on them. And they come in and dock, and they're bigger than the cities they dock in. They become the cities they dock in. Hmm? They build big. So this is Japan. They had, like, processions, like the Christians do as well. They're, they're um, sort of um, what they call floats, a little bit more trippy, though. Check out the Japanese float for their possession. Yeah, they took years to build that up there. Looks like a fashage. Actually, it doesn't. I don't even know what it looks like. But they look very happy when they built it. These ones had a go. They're looking very proud as well. Ready for the procession. It's got a bell in that. We recognize the bell. Well done. What else you got in here? Nothing else we recognize. Just a load of Japanese stuff. But yeah, so I get it. I get it. So you pile shit on top of one another, hoping we get it, yeah? Yeah, that's right, Marty. Okay, I get it. Fucking brilliant. Right. You're some Chinese in London, Paris, and all the other major cities, right? You, yeah? What did I fucking tell you? Don't miss the bottom of the fire. But the fire's on and it's burning me. Don't worry about that. Your suit is flame proof and you have flame proof shoes on. I have no shoes on. It doesn't matter. You're my son. We're bionic. You have shoes on. You won't be needing them. So in the past, like chin chimini, chim chim taru, we've all seen Mary Poppins. You know, all this shit goes down. They sent children down chimney pots, apparently, to clean soot, apparently. But I can't verify if like loads of chimneys are full of like Victorian children, like, and if anyone. Like, I haven't met anyone who have said, oh, you never guess what I found at my fireplace the other day. Well, a Victorian boy. Really? Was he alive? Yeah, he was old. Right. What would he be eating? Hang on, let me guess. Soot. Yeah, I knew, I knew. It's more of Glasgow. 
And this is the Tron gate. What? View from the Tron, like Tron Tron. What? You mean you can get into the machine from here, the game? So you're here first, again, on Flat Earth British. How many mind-blowing moments and paradigm shattering instances are we going to have at this day? Um, you can go to Glasgow, dig out that flying saucer thing and that tower. Yeah. Get into the Tron. He's been to the Tron. He didn't build that. So this guy, he's out on the step, or he's out in China. A nice fuck, colorized photograph of his beauty. Your camels are fucking lush, mate. Yeah, your camels are killing it. Don't know too much about you. Your camels are wicked. Anyway, that's unkind. You're all right, mate. What about that? In the middle of fucking Nowheresville. Hmm? Yeah? He's in the step. It's a squinting miles from anywhere. It's but fuck nowhere, guys. What's he doing there? Answers on a postcard. FEB, fat and fresh. By Wednesday. This is Puma Punko, some American who's got a poncho on, pretending he's a native, but he ain't because he just fucking busted in. Um, and he's found a bit of antiquity sticking out like the mud, and everything's in the mud, and this is like broken and in the mud. The official narrative is there was a tsunami from Lake Tutuka, uh, Lake Titicaca, Titicaca. I should remember that one with Titi in it, Titicaca, um, and it was bigger. And then a big tsunami and it smashed the whole Puma Punko civilization of the smithereens, which is what you're witnessing here. Yeah. And he's showing you, but really in reality, yeah, there was a, a cataclysmic event and he smashed this and buried it deep in the mud, as you can see. And he's not a real fucking. You ain't Mexican, you ain't fucking Peruvian. Blonde, weird egan. You're some old antiquitech devices all wired up. Could they have wirelessly operated fleets of planes in the past i mean before world war one two when another paradigm when all this shit was going down because all this has been repeated you know over and over again why do you think they've made all of the measurements in the world disappear off the face of the earth there's like four or five in the world and there was apparently a fucking squillion of them why is that so it eradicates something that's a legendary device off the face of the earth by the measurement almost as if it didn't exist it's really weird this is a nice italian building this is in boston massachusetts nice mud flooder I'm wondering about this tower here There's no it's just windows nothing going on in there belfry and i'm wondering if uh <coughs> if it's a landing platform for balloonage 589 of you watching on Matt Lika. I can't keep an eye on uh, my other channels. Right. Three stages of life. One, birth. Two, what the fuck is this? Three, death. Did we miss anything? Nope. Okay. I just about sums it up. Okay. Let's have a look at some more Phoenician architecture. This one's got a bit of a paint job going on. It's made of metal. As you can see, the mermaid again. It's got a crescent moon. I think that's Aries, that woman. And it okay, always guess me, like the giants, like, you know, like Gulliver's Travels, the angels, got the wings, and she got, like, the orb, and a mini-me. Uh, I see this a lot, a mini-me. And always the ship, the big ship. They carry them on their heads, too. Look at the decoration on there. I've not seen too much of that going on. One of the buildings. Very nice example. Venetian architecture. Now, orphan children. So they was really nice to nurses. They are like other kids who had grown up in this building. Take a look at, you know, your brothers and sisters. You have to teach them now the way, okay? It's a globe. What is it? A globe, sister. That's right. And that's what they're doing. Because I can't imagine, like, where the parents all are. There seems to be a lot of fucking babies born in one tumor. And how old are they, anyway? They're not newborns, are they? They're, like, six months and stuff. So, sinister goings on. This is where you're going to be. We'll let you out when you're older like these. Will we get a teddy bear? No. Ah, I'm just having a nice warm by my... Oh, there isn't a fire. Oh. But it's warm. How? What is going on? Could it be these anterons? Oh, I put my hands on them. Oh, no, they're quite warm. 
And could that be the case? She's got a nice target on there as well. I pretended to shoot that with my air gun. Um, Anderons, is that why she's standing there? She's getting the heat by the fire, and there's no fire in there because it didn't have fires there. Um, maybe radium heating on Anderons to so, emanate heat on um, ambient heat instead of fire heat, which is completely different. All right, let's have a look at this nice artwork. She's got a crow face. No, it's flying near to her. She's got wings in her head. I'm not sure. So I had some eagle feathers sent to me. Brilliant for smudging purposes. Tortoise feathers. Icarus. Got meat meated by nymphs when he landed. So it wasn't all bad, guys, if you were worried. But like, you know, they said like he tried to fly too close to the sun and he burnt his wings. I'm sorry, but I just that's not concurring with the evidence of this painting. His, his feathers look absolutely fine. Yeah. But he tried to fly too close to the sun because he thought it was 30 miles away and he missed a zero, basically. Silly sausage. Anyway, let's move on. Dun dun dun! Fight a British Think Tank. Now, I did a vlog last night. If you're watching my Liga channel and you're not aware, we got three other channels. And this is the one we go on in the week to have a catch up. And I showed you all pictures and stuff of the convention. And I shouted the new movie, which was out yesterday. And I did a. Anyway, I showed you a bit of the convention, which you can find on Hippie Channel, Hippie Shakes Channel, which is linked up below. Campbell, Jenny, who was brilliant, Truth Seeker 69. We love Jenny. Rich, Richard Ravery, who was in chat. Now it's the 07 at Ocean 11. So that was um, last night. I showed that. And I showed some of the trip to Birmingham. And I did a vlog about Tesla and his future vision, uh, like a Paris street or lit up, and other inventions like remote control, submarines, etc. And we talked about Tesla. So if you don't didn't see that last night, I would catch up on that. If you didn't know, sub to that channel as well, uh, because I'll be doing more videos over there. Because as I said, Fact of British Game Tank, uh, Matt Leader channel is um, copyrighted. So I'll be very careful. I don't lose my channel, really. Uh, YouTube is a hard place to survive. So last night till three o'clock this morning, I was on Have No Sphere. I'll link this up directly. I think I forgot this one. Um, I was on with Bob off of Globebusters for a couple of hours. We were chewing the fat. It was a fantastic show, actually, guys. And a lot of brilliant points made. Uh, so all with Aganza. So it was another three hours there at Flat Earth British. That's about five, six hours of you to catch up on. Of me in the last couple of days talking about all stuff. Right. Let's have a look at some pictures we sent in. Okay. Now, conference pictures I showed last night. There was a lot of them. Okay. Um, but I'm going to come back shortly. Let me just keep an eye on chat. How's everything going there, peeps? You cool? You iry? Okay, then we carry on. So, this lovely lady... Send me honey. The tastiest honey I've ever had in my life. I mean, I have a spoonful of it of a day, and I sit there, and I just, I'm mesmerized by how good this honey tastes. So, um, Stephanie is a lovely, kind person, and I'm very, very grateful. And I met this lady, yeah. See, that's this lovely, lovely lady. Yeah. This is Fiona, who's probably in chat now. I don't know, because she's little wing, and I got to meet her. And I know why she's called Little Wing, because she's only a little, sort of little dot. Lovely. And she's my friend. So who else do we meet? Oh, Steve. There's Lindsay. You in chat, Lindsay? Beautiful Lindsay. Look at them peepers and her face mask, which basically won't hold germs out. I need to reevaluate then. There's the other gem with a flat, flat earth family, flat family. And I got new photographs, but unfortunately, I left behind the remote control, uh, excuse me, the lead for my laptop so i haven't got it and loads of stuff on my laptop bummed up but bah so this guy sent one in last yeah cool and there's a few photographs of us at the convention maria who gave me the smoke god book i'm gonna cry uh this is oh she basically did the filming for me and she's a professional photographer in 
um, the next level. And she cited in it as well, in fact. And that's Tony as well. There's Steve and Nora, who may be in chat right now. She was done there earlier. But she tells me off. And there's Steve, who's happy flat for me. There's my mate Mel, who's absolutely epic. Yeah. And oh, he was unwell this week. He had a bit of an heart attack and shit, but he's better. And he dragged himself off to the convention conference. His higher state of consciousness. Fantastic, Chappy. There's me. Knocking one out on the stage. Not not obviously not literally. And and this lovely chappy here. Me. And hippie shake. Who's Teresa, who just shared these lovely videos, as I said, to the increment. And Steve, who's looking really scary, scared me. And uh, Mac Devlin, who's a uh, musical truth. That's scary, Steve. Stop scaring people and me doing book signings. This is Ace McLeod and Dottage. Um, we're conspiring to try and get me to Flattoberfest um, for October. I think that's because I've got somewhere to stay. And I'm going to definitely conspire on that. Noons, just conspire to get there. Um, and this London Ground is in chat right now. I gave him a book. And Stevage and Norwich and Ify Shape, which is a lovely photograph. The crew. And there's me and Angela, who's in chat right now. Are you there, Angela? Angela, are you there? Look how lovely Angela is, guys. These mud flood chicks are amazing. Don't you agree? <laughs> oh, he's lovely. Anyway, I go back. I got drinkage because I got like spitting feathers here, guys. We're talking for 10th never. What's the time now? Oh, two and a half hours. That's fucking stonk. You know, I've got more stuff, like a little bit more stuff. Here I come. Ready or not, here I come. You're hiding from me, aren't you? You're hiding from me. Don't hide from me. Not my own, no. Right. 680, you just shit out of nowhere. You've got nothing to do on a flat day night. <laughs> <laughs> that book wasn't too rude, was it, willies and stuff? It doesn't show that much. That stuff happens in life anyway. Somebody's been fucking. There's people everywhere. So I'm just going to let that slide anyway. I'll fake not literally. So, Brian. I got a number for you. I got an email and I got a number. Uh, I can't remember. I'll have to sort it all out later because I can't do too many things at one time because I would be multitasking. And as a male of the species, I will find that really difficult to think about two things. I do a really good job at like thinking and stuff sometimes. Missy thinks it's a fantastic show. So I'll go with that. She's got good taste. Um, I have to say, but for a book or two, I don't have much cash per cheat, um, but I'm getting there. Okay, Cheech, um, I haven't got another book, but if you give me or send me your address, I'll send you a book. Sign. Do you like the idea of that? Does that give you a nice warm, fuzzy feeling? Good, do it. Tim will tell you I did one for him the other day. <laughs> So that'd be nice. So, Brian, good to see you. Mark Anthony, good to see you too. Coopage. Don't think you can all have one. I haven't got that many. Uh, sad lives uh, so far across the pond. It's, it is sad uh, that we are so far away. Yes, Coopage. But we're going to heal this. We're going to drag the continents of the United States closer using ropes uh, to Britain. Should be easy. Just anchor it on, get a capstan. Yeah, I like the song. Uh, can we? Um, it's Ozzy Osbourne. I hope you're not on a ball fucking me. Oh, you couldn't, you didn't even see me. All right, then, cool. Um, hiya, John. Hiya, Jenny Kins. What kind of honey? I don't know. It's got a bit of plant stuff in there. Um, also, I'm on like algae tablets, like just like algae out of Oregon as well, Oregon Lake. Um, it's all from the Pacific Northwest. And it's like I had um, chutney. Yeah. All of this is from like the best products, guys. And it's like the best cheese and chutney sandwiches you've ever had. It's like, oh, I don't know. You guys just have the best tasting stuff. That honey. Fuck me. 
first time I tasted it, I was like, yeah, this is the best stuff I've ever tasted in my entire life. <laughs> it was that good. I ain't even joking. Hi, just me, Tracy. How's it going, Angel? So two and a half hours into flat a day. I've got loads of stuff I could have sh more I could share, but I did like um five and a half, six hours of me last night till three o'clock in the morning. So yeah, beautiful Andrea. We yes, uh, Bruno and Regina, you you was here in it too. Do you see you? I see you. So we love you too, Carrie Cameron, Matt Matt. The beautiful, lovely, warm, flat of British community. Andrew 73. Ooh, she's lovely. Frankie, yeah, good to see you, my lovely. And Alex, who sent me photographs, her son, uh, for Mel's headdress. Yeah, yeah. Oh, did you buy one of Mel's headdresses? Oh, yeah, I've seen you. Mel's um, really creative about making stuff, man. Uh, we broadcast from um, Centre of the Universe, indeed, free press. I will definitely go with that. Yeah, so um, and if you're not willing to wait till, I think, the 5th of May for that movie to come out on YouTube, and I will upload it, obviously, on um, on my channels, um, then watch it on um, Vimto, <laughs> whatever it's called, Vimto. Um, fantastic film, guys. Honestly, the first thing I thought when it finished was, but that was good. You know, it was all really, really good. And the points are just bang on. Anyone watching that will be like, uh oh, I think I should look into this maybe a little bit further. Nobody actually told me, is this true? That sort of buzz. Really good. Hi, Bob Sykes. Hi, AZ. Hi, Shari Lovely. So, a lady in America sent me a stone. I don't know what to make of it. And I can't remember her name. Was it Jen? Another Jennifer? Oh, I can't remember. I don't know what to make of it. It's like melted stone, or is it like a bone joint or something, or a giant? It looks sinewy, doesn't it? So I don't know. It, it, when it arrived, it said um, ge geological stone from America. So she said, I found an unusual stone for you, Matt. I think you should have it. It's like, yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah. And it was. It's really, really cool. So. I love, I've got a brilliant stone collection. I got stones everywhere and fucking crystals. Me, just pull them up anywhere. Bit of fool's gold. Oh, bit of hammer fist. Just fucking dotted around. So, hippie shake, Q Magoo, the spot. I wouldn't say no. Same birds, honey, either. Oh, listen, listen, that honey. It's just like, oh, the nectar of the gods, honestly. It's just such a wonderful taste. It gives you a buzz and you get a little rush. It's like, well, that's like drugs. It's really good. Uh, honey, one spoonful a day. Not too much of a good thing. You know, don't be greedy guts. That would be no good. AZ, Mel, virtual hug to Mel. Is she not here? I don't think, mate. To talk to her earlier. Oh, yeah, I did. I speak to her most days. But yeah, I don't know where she is. I was on a boat. Frankie, oh, Sherry, my back's gone. Don Parker, evening, JC, saying. So yeah, I'm going to. Got a number for you, uh, Brian, and I'll sort that out for you soon. Frankie's there, lovely. And our lovely India. I'll get back to you as soon as I can, India, lovely. I am Karios. Carl Fletcher. Um, I watched on Rock Film. It was an awesome show. Oh, did you? Yeah, Carl, it was wicked, mate. It was a really, really good film. So impressed with that. So well put together and buzzy, emotional, everything you want, really. Exciting. Good stuff. I uh, hope the show Sophia's birthday picks. Uh, say Jen Fern Montgomery. So nice to see you, Jen. Giddy Proof, who's always linked down below in the description box. If you need your CBD oil because you're like aching like fuck because of all this bullshit, don't bother with parasites anymore because they're deadly. You don't even know what they are. CBD oil, eh? get over to. She's down below. Employment in the description box. Okay, get the juicy, juicy. Wink, wink. It's good stuff. So you're paying, and it's non-pharmaceutical, okay, or addictive, or anything bad. Right there, bullshit. Uh, nothing new, Carrie. Nothing new under the sun, babes. You know it. 
So Ryan, so if you are in chat now, because I've coming up to the two and a half hour mark on my vlog, and I'm going to be cutting out soon. Um, say it's 500, nearly 600. If you say something, or oh, Pacific Northwest, how oh, cool. I just mentioned that. Um, in chat, let me shout you out in chat. Like Dragon Sage, who's doing a booty bootage. Uh, or oh, Brown Clown Eyes, yeah? Thank you, Flat Earth British family. Thank you for keeping the vibration and the frequency high. Much respect and love. Uh, to you know what the truth is so that's a lovely thing thank you appreciate that uh judy q west here buying a cool new uh flick tonight can't wait i'll enjoy that just hour and 20 minutes something like that but i tell you what it's a well good film to watch uh will uh footage of lectures be available someday i couldn't answer that dean i haven't got a clue maybe we're gonna have a hangout with people who are on it there was some talk of that, you know, like ODTV, Santos, people like that. Uh, that was my fault. I just hit my fucking stream yard off. Sorry about that, Dean. <coughs> Pushing Castle. Who is Alex? Who's lovely? Who else we got? Carrie's in the house. Bucket of blood. And Carwin Brown. Brown. Um, out back. Love watching, Matt. Much love from Prison Island. Ah, oh, sorry about that. Don't worry about it, mate. Just tune in the fight with British. If you need to get a girl, sure we'll find something. I'll link up all of them crazy books that I just showed. No more Hanky Pranky. Yeah, we'll have a look at Hank. See how he's feeling. Because um, I mean, I gotta be honest. He hasn't touched himself once all this time, but. I did hide him from all of that, all them willies and stuff, because he's like fucking proper pervy. Hang on. Ugh. So, how are you feeling there, mate? You feeling all right? Mm? That's enough of all them terrorist groups, haven't you? Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Fuck. Whoa. I got you. I got you, bro. He ain't heavy. He's my brother. Anyway, my Holly's moment there. So, I would have seen the rest of that then, but I burst out into tears. So I felt better now. Especially, he ain't, he ain't heavy. That's a cry, you know. So, heavy shake. You want to giggle, love? Okay. So, you've all seen, um, yeah, like the um, hanky pankies are growing. I'm talking like millions strong in a minute. We're going to have like, all the support, like, Wink, wink, of the dead army on our side, guys. Uh, uh. Excited? Uh, the hanky wankies. <sighs> I feel much better now. Oh, something just come up. The next level documentary film on rock finage. Get over there, watch that latest. Linked up below. And that's what you can do with the rest of your video nightage. Or watch the two and a half hours, or the three hours and a half hours, four hours that I did yesterday. Which was also really good and juiciness. Okay. Hank's a perv. No, 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 Jew. He's, he's all right. He's like, yeah. Yeah, he's got, um, he's got a syndrome. I don't want to go into details. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You just don't have to live with it. No lucky you fucking are. Man and Campbell need to visit the US. What a moment that would be. <laughs> Can you imagine me and Campbell? Oh, man, in the USA. I'm definitely going to try, guys. I want to get to this Flattober Fest. Get on the stage. Do a bit of Brian splatting and see my American family. Because it's been like seven years in the coming. Yeah, I've got a place to stay on. It's like plain fair, really. I'm sure like Karen B's not going to juice me for a ticket if I talk. Wanky Spankies. Oh, I should put that up. Nah, that's too much. Dragon Sage. Stop driving, right, driving me astray. Uh, road screen. Lewis 2. Who else we got here? Three fingers. Hope you're all. Kuchi in Little Beach. Yeah, I know where everybody lives. My appointment. It's not true what they say. Um, Sing, what's happening? I have a couple of guest rooms. Oh, there you are, Sing. Sing's going to put, put me up. You get big bags of weed. Yeah? Because that would be, you'd have to meet me with big bags of weed. 
Um, you were great in the next level. Just saw it last night. Me and my girlfriend were very impressed. Fucking hell. Thank you, Dread. I seen you last night. Anyway, I give you a shout in uh, my Real Media's chat last night. I do appreciate that coming from you, my precious brother. Fucking love you, Dread. See a picture of Ace McLeod earlier. Yeah. I want if I get to America land, all of us, all of us, all gang. Yeah. Except for like GB. Which I still feel sad about, by the way. Our old mate, Jib Jedi. Uh, Cheech, remember what I said, brother? Write into me. And I'll do you a solid. Your family is growing. Oh, it's massive, mate. It's fucking tens and tens of thousands of us on all of the channels. Hanky Wanking Camp. Hanky. Happy Hanking Wanking Camp. Hank Happy Wank Camp. Wank Camp. Happy Wank Camp. Thank you for this, Mag Pyman. This is growing in my Brian. I like the way this is going. I like your thinking. This is getting like really, really cunning. Uh, you would have a place to stay, Lady Locks. I know. I got a really nice place to stay anyway in South Carolina. That's where I was thinking on being going towards. Um, like proper nice place. So that would be really groovy. If I get there, we we'll make Zackage and Camis. Thanks, Don. Thanks, Q. Thanks, Double O Rich. Am um, I coming to Tenerife? I love Tenerife. Um, when they, they flew me out there, I had to meet a ship in uh, Santa Cruz. And um, when I arrived, the carnival was on. It was like one of the biggest in the world, isn't it? So I had no hotel, but I had my suitcases and I couldn't do anything with them. So um, basically, I buried them. Um, I'm sure you know the Institute of Oceanography in Tenerife in Santa Cruz. So um, I basically buried them opposite that on the beach, big pebbles, pebble beach. I marked it with a coke can. In the plan that I could go off tripping, doing my thing and having a good time in the festival. I had face paint, so I could lie in. Some kids stole my glasses and brought them back, realizing they weren't fucking sunglasses, which is really kind for a thief. Um, and I thought I'll go back there at sunrise and I'll find my um, suitcases with all my belongings and my Christmas presents that I haven't opened yet because it was February. Um, and when I went to the beach, first light, um, there was just hundreds of Coke cans. So I was just tossing pebbles till about nine o'clock in the fucking morning. Do you think I found it? my fucking suitcases? Did I fuck? Lost everything. So I had to meet the ship with a face paint, trip in. Fucking three days sleeping in packs before the fucking ship turns up. Um, and then I got arrested on the quayside then, yeah, um, by some fucking sh soldier turns up, like fucking trying to fucking be all fucking sold shouldery, soldiery on my ass. Fucking on about weed and stuff. It's like, what? What? Me? No. And uh, the ship came, uh, came along, side when he was doing, when he was hassling me. Yeah. And he's, I was like, my ship, uh, British, yeah, fucking. But no, I did have a face paint and I was tripping. I had no suitcases, nothing, nothing. Luckily enough, ends of Miami, you know, my wallet and fucking passport. But I live out of the engine room rag bag for like six months till I acquired clothes again. I'm not even joking. So Tenerife was wicked. I had a good time there. Can't tell you the rest. It's not publishable. Blackbird, keep spanking at it. I will try my fucking jolly best, bro. Okay, it's not an easy thing, YouTube. So, you know, living your life publicly is definitely not a good thing, especially when you're like fucking bucket mold mouthing, giving it all the fucking way. Uh, what location, please? I don't know where you're going. Oh, so um, Spartanburg. Um, if you go on Karen B's channel or Stavely's even, uh, Dose of Reality, they shout it all the time. Um, she has it, I think this is the third year. Oh, but Flattoberfest. And oh, everyone in America goes there, really. It's their Flat Earth meet, their annual one. And every year, I'm like, it's been fucking stupid lockdown, isn't it? And I've been, like, sulking, watching it. You know, my friends. <sighs> Fucks me off. <sighs> so. Fantasia, Morocco. Oh, yeah, I've been in Morocco. I went on the ferry across from um, Gibraltar to Ceuta. And... Um, I could have stayed there and really had a good time. And they thought I was one of them anyway, which is brilliant. I manage it. No matter where I am in the med, they just talk to me like in their language because they think I'm one of them. If I'm in Greece, sort of, I mean, fucking 
anywhere. Do you think someone of them? So that's really handy. As long as I keep my mouth shut, use that universal language of love. <laughs> uh, I think it should be okay. Max Strump, can I come? Fuck yeah, Mac. You make sure you fucking do. Yeah, set your intent. All of us now. Let's set our intent. Let's over fest. Make it be. There. Okay, and I will be there on stage. Um, oh, Ippy Shakes. Fat, I, yeah, I've got like t shirts and stuff. You can have Flat Femmes t shirts. Uh, I've got a good t shirt. And it's true as well. I think it's a bold statement. I think it's true. Okay, before I go. Got to lay that proof down, you know. That's what makes all the difference in a case is proof. Ooh, SC to B. Much love, Matty. Much love to you as well, C to B. Like magical times 10 to infinity plus and back. Yeah, I don't think I've even dished one that long. That's pretty good. Shehol, good to see you. Love your music. Except when he's like, I've got that one off Groundhog Day. I got you, babe. I got you. I went to North Pole as well. Fucked up Santa Claus. Yeah, he was getting on my nerves. So don't, don't care who you are, fat. So get that reindeer off my roof. Keep shitting on my chimney. Much love, Martin. Thank you as always. Can he wait for the next venture? There's always a next venture. There's a next venture brewing very, very soon, which I'll we'll tell you all about next week. Can't forget you give me twenty dollars. Ah, oh, from across the pond. Thank you, Carl. That was my father's name, Carl. Not not spelt like that, though. Calio. Good show, Martin. Being pocket listening. That's fine, Valerie Pax Angel. You do what we want. Ace t shirts. They're good, Kathleen. I want to get myself one. Right, I'm going to be hustling out now. I'm going to wish you all the very best the rest of the week. I'm going to be back this week. I'm going to be doing a lot more content on the Flat Earth British Think Tank channel, as I said, because. Um, this one's copyrighted, and I don't want to really do it if I do anything wrong, which is easy for me. All of the juice just now that I showed, and the channels that I just showed, and um, I shouted to channels last night, like Jade's done a fantastic video, who is uh, Future of the Past as well, uh, which is linked below in the description box below Hippie Shakes video. Uh, my son, who also put up footage of the convention, Going to take care of matters. He's linked below as well in the descriptions box. Um, run off and sub to these people too. And Hippie Shake, who's there? Love, love her. Ah, oh, she's so kind. Um, and subscribe to all five of British channels to keep up with the juice. Okay, guys, we will be back very soon. There's my brother Zal Marksage. Bugger, you're late. Oh, Zal, I was just going. I can't go another half hour. No, my back's gone. I want to drink. I've been talking for nearly three fucking hours <laughs> and all last night. Anyway, make sure to subscribe, share this out, and all them good YouTube juicy bits, okay? I would be most appreciative. Okay, I'll see you in a week. Be good. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Hang on, before I go, double platforms to infinity twice. See you as well. See you soon.